Start. I promise you, I will be back. Just build, like, build tension for me, please. Okay, we're not gonna. Fine. How long is this gonna take? Ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Well, I guess with this, uh, hello and welcome to the awkward cast. A Y and Keyframe wonder about random drivel and take a glance at our guest, Emerald. Before he is gone for ten minutes oh, to no. eat, this Welcome is a back great to start. the first episode of the not yet titled podcast. Oh uh, yeah, right. Just in the very first episode, we didn't have a title, and we kept it this way for like three or four episodes. And uh, recommend- yeah, before you started whining, and then you were like, "Fine." <laughs> you were like, "I want to be the co-optional podcast. I want to be the co-optional podcast." Yeah, and then like, TV okay. died. Well, that turned awkward. Well, okay, I hope one of us... Well, well, I mean, TB used to be in the top left corner, so... <laughs> okay, you made it worse. Thank you. I, Thank hey, you for making it worse. It's a joke he would make. Hey, he would, he would. But it's it's always yeah. a thing that the, the Doom people can make the jokes, but the non-Doom people are like, oopsie. <laughs> But, Have but, I ever yeah, told um, people? Yeah, yeah. But, but, but yeah, no, to, 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 to stall for more time, uh, um, uh, please give me give me the musical um, uh, uh, undertone, like like do do some 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 vocals with your mouth for um, uh, the sponsor of this episode. Oh, don't tell me. Oh, okay. Partially featuring Emerald Comet when he is not out to get his food with his family as a good boy does is brought to you by Slytherin. And if I would have thought about that earlier, I could have told Keyframe to actually sing the Harry Potter theme. But I missed this chance and I forgot about it. Slytherin. Because that's where you find true friends. Hey, that actually went pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself. That wasn't any actual music I knew. That was just me making up a random melody. Yeah, I mean, that was basically what I was hoping for. Also, wait, I noticed you've been, Is that what you're using? The decanter I got you for? You just filled it with water? Yes. I, 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 you I, never showed me the decanter. You've just been showing me you no, used the cups. In the very first episode, I was like, hey, this year, like four, three episodes ago. Did you also remember that in the first episode this year, I left halfway through your halfway through you talking. This could and then I had play to come into back. it. <laughs> no, no, not you realizing that I am using this very oh, beautiful decanter. Oh, that's awesome. Decanter. You're using it. You're using it off. That I, makes me happy. I, 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 I turned turned into a civilized person so now i only drink out of an old plastic uh, uh, orange juice bottle sun bleached my, bottle yeah for my oh no no not even not even for gaming and ties for gaming and ties i'm drinking out of my eldritch cup which is not true because it's oh, actually what are, you, are you just using it for your normie days off when you can't yeah. when you don't want to be civilized yeah exactly i mean the bottle of water can hold more than this and the decanter i it's 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 too much effort for not on the show. It's, it's easier to just put the... Pl- and you don't have to worry about this heavy thing with an engraved icon of m- m- my internet persona to drop Your it icon. and break it. My and icon, yeah. Um, or logo. I guess logo is the best term. Yeah, logo. Sure. Let, let's go yeah. with logo. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. The, the but yeah, so... Um, how, so, Emerald, who are you, what do you do, and why should people care? I mean, the fun thing about it, because cool. I, I, I was about, oh, maybe this was actually the thing I wanted to ask Emerald uh, during the pre-show, but then I got hung up on different things, uh, um, was to ask <laughs> if he has anything on the internet that we can use to demonstrate who he is with a little bit more relevance than... Oh, yeah, because his... he's... What the hell did just happen? Oh boy! I, it, it, uh, oh, I must have clicked. You, your... you threw it away. Yeah, yeah I... because all of his stuff is like film school stuff no, now. It's not... Wait, wait, what happened? Did I did I change some? Did I change the shortcut? Where's the fucking shortcut? No. And then you click the end show shortcut. I, I the, the the good news is I haven't said one yet. Uh, so I literally <laughs> cannot. Never do. Oh, command <laughs> shift D, not just command D. Okay, so. The thing about Emerald is that the only media or the only thing he does, he's not even a Twitterer, is he? So the only thing he does on the internet is having his old YouTube channel, where there, which is pony all the way, and with the last upload being over a year ago. 
Oof. I mean, I mean, when I'm when I'm asking him, who are you? What do you do? And why should we care? The answer should really be like, nah, no, don't worry. I'm a guest. You should here. care because I am a person. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's basically like, uh, um, why should we care? What What are you known for? Regular guest on the awkward cast. Like, it, <laughs> this that should point, be his business cards. It's this. <laughs> it just is, it's like a uh, real name. <laughs> Uh, cinematographer, director, awkward cast alumni. <laughs> uh, In very tiny text, like 0. 0.3 font, so it just looks like a little like squiggly de decal on the thing. But oh boy, should we stall for time by doing our, our talking weeks? about our week? I guess we could talk about our week instead of Emerald's week. And what did I do? What did I do? I, this I week? did stuff, do. I do, do, I do the did stuff. Uh, I go on ahead. The floor is oh, yours because oh, I need oh to my. think. Oh, my. Um, so, yeah, actual events in uh, uh, the live of the A&Y, believe it or not. Uh, I got out of the house twice this week. I mean, All right. a, 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 except for work, obviously. Um, no, uh, uh, the first thing is that uh, uh, I, I got uh, uh, dragged out of the house on Thursday to uh, a concert, as in live concert uh, with a band on a stage and stuff and uh, a crowd what that was band? actually going pretty wild uh, caravan palace and oh, since maybe, oh i know that yeah, band. and since most people probably don't necessarily are like oh caravan palace because i didn't know what was caravan palace before uh, uh denim pointed if out people to me, have ever seen the lone digger view everyone has seen the lone this digger one, music I video probably, uh, this, yeah exactly so this is caravan palace um and yeah, they, so they are a band with a, a heavy emphasis on electro swing. And uh, I mean, for people who know this video, it goes a little bit into the graphic direction at some point. Uh, yeah, just uh, I think like um, uh, not yet, not yet. Yeah, but yeah, I you mean, you see think, what's about to come. Yeah, exactly. But the point is that. Uh, uh, Video, uh, that this video is not necessarily representative of the uh, uh, entire band and uh, how it's up. They are on stage amazingly energetic and have a ton of fun, especially the lady. And I don't know. When, when is the point where I probably should stop showing this on Twitch? Probably right away because of the music. Probably right away as yeah. soon as the gazelle cage dancer comes on. Maybe. Oh, yeah, this is kind of gazelle, isn't it? Uh... But yeah, there are the, 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 the other guys, and we. we if you want to watch it, exact, uh, go watch it on YouTube. Yeah, to, to, to link down below. They're very and... electro swingy music. Yeah, and hmm, I lost my pen. Oh, that's a sad development. Uh, I guess I use this one now. Uh, oh, either uh, way, but yeah, so you went to go do that. They have great stage presence. Oh yes, they they are one thing. So um, uh, that that I noticed before. Oh no, that we noticed when we were there, uh, their stage show is very flickery light heavy. Uh, oh, that does not sound like fun for certain people. Nope. And I came to the conclusion, I mean, it was okay for me because I don't have anything going into the direction of uh, epilepsy, neither does uh, denim, but uh, yeah, after the show I was like, this is probably now the second strongest epilepsy tester I have come to. So if anybody ever is wondering, do you have epilepsy or not? Go to a show of Caravan Palace. Uh, maybe stay close to the exit in case you do realize you have it. Wear re really thick sunglasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was really, like, flashy. But, but not in the... Specifically... And this is only like a, as someone who has epilepsy um, or is prone to epileptic episodes, that's specifically photosensitive epilepsy. There's two kinds where like one is just the brain has spasms sometimes mm. and the other is specifically due to photosensitive. So the Porygon Pikachu episode kind of blinking light kind of thing or like really fast sounds some people have that kind of auditory stimuli some people have uh seizures just based off stress that's specifically photosensitive which is the most common 
but you know, and can happen to people who even don't have epilepsy. It's just everyone has a different level of proneness to it. Mm. So that's your warning. If you if you have seizures based off stress, you could still go enjoy the electro swing band if blinking lights don't hurt you. <laughs> don't be a shut in. <laughs> fair, fair. I am uh, uh, not very very well versed in that regard. So uh, thanks for somebody giving a little bit more of a proper explanation than I could. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, this, this was one thing that happened this week, and uh, uh, today uh, uh, Eddie Izzard was uh, running around Berlin in context, he, he's a guy who does stuff, and he, he even ran for, for he's a, sta is he a stand-up comedian? I don't he's a know. St he's, a, he, he's a stand-up, he's a performer, he's an actor, he does, I mean, like, he, he, I mostly know him for acting stuff, but I do know that his beginning was in comedy performing. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, he, he even now considered going into politics, like officially. So, yeah. and what he currently does is he's touring through Europe by going in different cities and running a marathon each day in a city uh, as a some kind of charity program for uh, UNICEF. And, Good for him. Uh, yeah, yeah, but. I, I was like, yeah, okay, he takes his time. So I was like, okay, I'm running a marathon with maybe a few breaks in between and taking your time. But then I was like, wait, 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 wait. Every day, as in he runs a marathon to marathon today, he already ran one yesterday, and he's going to run one tomorrow? Like, okay. That dude must have legs of steel. I, 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 I uh, uh, take everything, uh, uh, every dismissiveness back, because I could probably not do it. Uh, so uh, respect there. Um, Professional marathon runners are not encouraged to do that. I, uh, he's kind of an insane man. I mean, he, he does it at his own speed, I assume. And uh, he, he, he is not what you would call a born athlete, but uh, uh, so endurance and, and determination and whatnot. So respect there. No, no, but the thing was, like, he's, today he was running through Berlin. So uh, we tried to play geo hunting or whatever you call it with his Twitter posts. Then uh -huh. he, kept, he kept posting on Twitter, and we have a very high suspicion that his he he actually uploaded vlogs, little vlogs, and we have a very high suspicion that he uploaded them hours later so people could not locate where he is. Oh no, that is totally what people do. You do yeah. <laughs> that is totally that is a that is a very common celebrity practice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, but if on just. On good luck, we went to an UNICEF uh, uh, building, and we're like, hey, maybe he runs by Why we are here. Let's look for a yellow uh, uh, raincoat, because it was shitty rain weather, so yay. But something good came out of it anyways, because we got to go to uh, a Japanese, oh, God damn it, Japanese cafe, where they have Japanese stuff, like... Whatever this is called, but they also sold it as a rice burger. It's basically like a, a ball of sushi. Instead of a roll of sushi, it's a ball of sushi. Uh, I'm sorry, just rice burger is such a shitty anime dub <laughs> name for, like, but this is a jelly donut. Exactly, <laughs> but the, the, the amazing thing is they officially have it like oni, uh, onirigiyoko or whatever, and then below it, rice burger, and then the flavors. <laughs> Wait, unigiri? No. Are you trying to say unigiri? I know I'm probably butchering it too, it but... Is, it's more syllabi, more syllabi. It starts with oni, rigi, gaga, didi. It's like at least seven syllabi, so it's... <laughs> Radio more... gaga. Radio oh, look, gaga. look who's back. Oh, oh, yeah, he is back. Yay, and welcome our guest to the show. I'm currently just... Oh, there it is. Onigara... Are you sure? Yeah, or something. I believe there was... Onigara Azu? I, I'm sure there was more, uh, at least a second E in there somewhere. But yeah, and, I, either and, way, you had a rice burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the melon bread, and this one was filled with red bean paste. This is a matcha brownie. There's a matcha drink. This is a matcha latte. So... Uh, hey, the, that's a happy accident. Yeah, yeah. This, this was a... a a uh, very nice uh, uh, discovery and wait i probably should not mention this uh, uh uh how do i get out of this they are a customer of the company i work for do not give away my real life occupation which i nearly just did uh, uh they, yeah they are <laughs> a customer or this re this restaurant or this cafe is a customer of ours but i will not go into detail what 
my profession is. Otherwise, my identity is. The thing is he does there. IT for. The I, I do IT for it, exactly. So I'm actually not related to our product at all. Kind of. This, this sounds sad now. Oh, you well. keep things from blowing up, but. It's true. And sometimes I cause a blowing up. Uh, yeah, Emerald, we, we, we tried already in your absence to explain to the audience who you are, what you do, and why people should care. And we came to the yeah, conclusion. Me, me here, no, yeah, and, and we came to the conclusion that your greatest current achievement on the internet, unless I'm missing something, is, is being be on this show. Yes, it's like literally being literally the most, that because have, you don't I, post I, anything. I, I, you I, make. I, I, I have like a mild existential the, crisis today the, the, because the, I was like. Ask me who am I and why people should care, and I'm thinking like what? most thing I did on the internet was uploaded two years ago at this well, stage. Well, really. one year, this, like, and I, it I, is, <laughs> and it's actually featuring uh, Josh. So this is probably why people got drawn in there. But yeah, it's it's a why, and it's all pony. How much pony do you still do? Uh, at uh, at this point in my life. <laughs> Uh, very, very little. Yeah. We, we uh, still I, about I, a horse at least once every couple months we, and, a, and wakes made, up in a cold sweat. <laughs> I've made the transition from being a horseman into being a man-man. <laughs> oh, man-man. Man, you uh, are a man. A manly man. Manly man, man, grew, man instead of four wheels, you grew, you grew ten mini ones on the front yeah. and ten mini ones on the bottom. But, 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 oh, so it's just like, it's, it, it, it's what... It, 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 it's like that bit in the anthology where it's like, where are your fingers? And then you just look down and then just <laughs> slowly pumping out. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, uh, yeah. But, but do you have to add anything to what we just discussed? Who you are, what you do, and why people should maybe care? Uh, I'm the Irish dude who comes on this show sometimes, insults the two hosts, they insult me back, I drink a little bit of wine, I talk about movies, I uh, you... I can either make you very, very sad with the movies that I'm talking about, I can either make you very, very happy with the movies that I'm talking about. Let's see what happens this evening! Hey, I don't... Uh, uh, you, you are the... I used, wait, you were in competition, at least, for the most uh, frequent guest on Awkward. When do you? He he is yeah. on a ranking with with Ambrose because Ambrose is the absolute tippy top. No yeah. one can beat. Oh really? I've done a show with them. Unle before, but... Unless we count uh, Emerald with British Ninja, then Emerald might actually be in the lead. Uh, Emerald is the lead in the case of if you put co-hosting with it. Uh -huh. I think that was the thing. But, yeah. Emerald's in the lead if you put co-hosting with it. Ambrose is just straight up guest, and then right below both of them is Wooten. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I think British is right below Wooten. Oh wait, Wooten. I think oh, I'm baiting you, Ninja. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's the thing. British and, British constantly is like, I need to have more than Emerald. <laughs> Aw, but no, then it's like on the show more than Emerald. But, is. But, but then again, British is also a, 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 a standard member of uh, Dream Daddy, and now he is on Gaming and Ties with um, uh, Hotline, Hotline Miami. Miami. So he, he gets a little bit of attention. And of course, Emerald is the future host of uh, the great, high, sophisticated live stream of Griffin the Griffin live action and reading. eventually get to it in 10 years. <laughs> Probably. See, here, I have a pitch. I have a pitch for you. Pretty expensive whiskey or wine and whatever the hell it is, and we just don't care anymore. We're like, yeah, we can do this. <laughs> Look, man, I have a pitch for you about the Griffin the Griffin thing. Pitch it to me. Tell me. Feel, feel, just feel me on this. So, um, because I've done all the seminars and stuff, I technically can rent out the YouTube space for a whole day every month. Uh, like the YouTube studio space. Rent out a room and three days worth of their, um, so all their cameras, all that. I say we all fly down to LA and use one of the YouTube studio spaces and record the entire Griffin the Griffin live stream there in a professional studio with the best cameras, multiple camera angles, just just reading Griffin the Griffin. As much expensive, as I expensive, but. <laughs> I'm into it. I, I just want to say, well, I can count it as a business expense because it's on my name. Business expense for me, it's like okay, uh, I'm I'm dropping okay pro. I'm gonna go like hang out with people that I like. Con, I'm spending twelve grand to go to a city. No, not twelve grand. Okay. A, a grand and like two hundred to go to a city that I hate. Okay. Uh, pro, I'm gonna be reading Griffin the Griffin for entertainment. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Reading Griffin the Griffin. <laughs> okay, okay. To, to, to maybe we should probably not discuss this live, but nevertheless, to when was FriendoCon, which turned out a, very small at the end of the day. 
Friendocon was last beginning of last year, right? Uh, last no, spring. Are you uh, talking about my birthday? Year. We called it Friendocon. I, uh, but yeah, what about? I told you I don't like calling it Friendocon. Well, really, I okay. Hang out with people who you can tolerate. Does that work? Yes, my birth my birthday, which was like two years ago, because oh. that's when I turned twenty one. Oh, oh, that was that was Friendocon. <sighs> There was Friendocon, and then there was WeddingCon. Those were the two LA things where a bunch of people came down. But but yeah, if if we find, or maybe maybe even an actual convention that happened, or some some reason to 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 uh, set up a get together, fandom unrelated, just friends coming there, and as one event, we do the Griffin the Griffin reading in the YouTube space. That's whatever. I, well, I, <laughs> that can, I, I, it's not like that people could just come see me. The lonely person who does everything for everyone. Listen, I will well, consider. I can't say I that not, because he's okay. because the one down there is literally coming down in like a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. We've had multiple occasions where I'm just like, you never do anything for me, and he's just like, I'm, I'm literally flying down there in a week. You can't say shit. <laughs> and also, like, oh. ladies and gentlemen, live to you from the awkward chat. The YouTuber who reviewed Stripperella, Saberspark. Oh, Stripperella. That was a good video. <laughs> I couldn't keep watching it without thinking of Momo for My Hero Academia. So. Here's the worst thing. I guess at this point we actually have to put the, uh, a, a link to the Stripperella video in the description. But uh, <laughs> he, here's, the, here's the worst thing when I watched it. And uh, I, I heard like, I mean, you, you, you may say, but you mentioned a lot of stuff why you one probably should not care about Stripperella as a show and sincerely watch it, except maybe for Cheapo. But this, 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 this uh, co-worker of Stripperella, the, 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 the one with the piggy tails, she actually has a very nice and cute character design, but she is in this show! I mean, she's also... I've watched all of Stripperella. Oh, of Wait, course you have. Of course, of course you have. Of why, why? Okay, do you expect any less of me? No! It's, I'm it's not surprised. No, right. like, no, I watched it. She's actually really cute. I like her. The, she's so the, funny. The, the piggy she's like a girl. funny little ditz. Yeah, yeah, the, the, piggy, yeah, the pigtail girl. I, I, she's super cute. Yeah, I picked up on that she is the, the, the cutie from just watching the review where we didn't even hear the audio. <sighs> too bad yeah, but no like no but also i just the thing is it's very hard to be a fan of many shows when you're watching stripperella because all you can hear is the other characters these people have played and then you want to watch the other shows of these people because i love cheapo but every time i hear it all i hear is the critic because it's john lovitz and it makes me just want to go and watch the critic <laughs> instead but no so mm. max I'm assuming after the cafe you yes, didn't two, have... Yes, two, two events okay. happening this week was more than I am coping with. I mean, uh, I, I am already exhausted, so did anything happen in your week, Emerald, or in your recent life since since, since the last time you were on the show? And no, you want to yeah, share. You don't, you don't have, just, just what you want to share, some highlights. Two, two things, and you're, like, you're so old. Um... <laughs> I have been. No, uh, it's just we're boring. <laughs> One that. thing happened in my life this week. One. I wasn't he here has for that. me beat. <laughs> I may no. be able to. I don't know if I don't know if this is like one upping you guys or like uh, or, or like or like putting you two up on pedestals. But like the only thing I've been doing for like since I got back into into uni in February is editing my movie. That's literally it. Like oh. May, Life is so boring. I'm editing my film. How about, how, how about, fuck you. Oh no, he does the walking. He does the walking again. <laughs> no, that is my job. It's it's what your room is tiny. There's not a lot of space for you to walk. But, but like, and I'm literally next to a wall by design. I still. So. No, but it, it's it's like okay, okay. So 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 I think when was the last time that we spoke? Like on on the show. Hey, I feel like I haven't I, seen I can year. tell you exactly. The last a... time Emerald Comet was on this show was on... Oh my god, September, September the 22nd. It has really been a while. It's wow. been a while. So please, Four, tell five, us some nope. fun adventures Emerald has been going through in the land of... Uh, land of potatoes land and champagne. Uh, 
And what? Yeah, the lands of potatoes and St. Paddy's, as we're getting close to St. Paddy's. Okay, first of all, it's Paddy, and I hate it when Americans put T's in there, but really, like, like, like that, that tilts me ever so slightly. You, uh, you mean St. Like, Paddy's, fine. You, you but you his mean name like, is Patrick. Yeah, yeah. Patrick's not spelt with a D. And people in Ireland call people who are Patrick Paddy. It's like, Paddy, how you doing? Pat, you doing all right? I, I, I have the feeling that Paddy's uh, is to Emerald what Sippy Cup is to Keyframe. Oh, like that one tiny thing that really shouldn't matter, but you can't tilt it about it? Oh, no. Oh, she threw her Sippy Cup on the floor. See, that's why no, that I, is why. I batted it like a cat, and it made a much more violent sound than it had the right to make. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. No, sorry, no, sorry, no. Emerald, you were actually talking. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. no, I have the I I haven't spoken to you guys in ages, so like like the fact that I get to come on here and roast you as our first interaction in like months is uh, is is good for me. Anyway, yeah. So January uh, uh, after the new year was basically um, we were uh, we all sort of made time slots uh, for ourselves, like my uh, my guys in my year in uni to go and uh, and shoot our films. Uh, they're all they're, they're they're all shorts, like you know, like between like eight and ten minutes. Some are like seven. Uh, so we all just put aside time to go and do a bunch of those. There's five people doing documentaries. There's five people doing dramas. So I was basically um, mine was that was done and out of the way first. Uh, so well, we did that. We shot that, and then I was basically just running around for the rest of the month, just like doing whatever people needed me to do. I was the the guy keeping everybody on time on one thing. I was working a camera on something else. I was um, <clears throat> making sure that the uh, the people in one show or like uh, in one movie were like looked after. I was I was I was running around and just like doing stuff, uh, and then we basically got back into uh, into class in uh, start of February. Um, got a bit of a boot up the ass to basically say like, look, we're in the end game now, so you all need to like fucking yeah, pull it out of the back. I know go. everybody was in end game, right? Everybody was in end game. <laughs> Everybody's here. <laughs> Sorry, you continue why Keyframe is dying and rethinking oh, her entire life. Breakdown here, it's fine. I've seen it before. <laughs> so uh we're 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 four weeks into post-production. Uh I'm getting everything together for it. Maybe I'll come back on the show and do some shameless self-promotion for my own. You're welcome to <laughs> So that'll be fun uh when we eventually do that. Um, yeah, so that, that's, uh, that's, that's been me. Nothing, like, overly, nothing that I would consider overly exciting, uh, has, like, really gone down in the last, uh, month or two. I've been hanging out with friends and playing bloody Dungeons and Dragons and, like, hey. uh, making films. Uh, so, <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm still alive. So I guess that's another good thing that happened. I mean, you survived Endgame. <laughs> Are you See, okay? <laughs> You, the, okay. I, listen, I don't know the what dumbest, we said. The dumbest what, thing that what? made me laugh about it when you said everyone's here was because last night I was watching deep fake videos, like when people deep fake someone's face onto like a video clip. Okay. And I just had the thought of deep faking like Emerald's face onto like someone from Endgame when they come on. Like, <laughs> deep fakers in our audience, where I'm totally sure there are. Get on it. Like, fucking deep. deep. Like you go to the gym and you work out and you come back and you're like, yeah, like I'm, I'm feeling like I can take on the world. And then you just watch Chris Hemsworth take off his shirt and you're like, what's the point? <laughs> what is the point of anything? Well, no, see, because I can look this way without majorly dehydrating myself. That is fair. Because <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, I, I personally love that the camera was like when Emma was like. What am I doing with my life? It shook the camera and just shrunk I mean, to underline his depression. It feels, it, your your software feels the pain yes. that I go through it's, on a daily it's basis. It's mood sensitive, but sorry, Key, you were saying about you working well, out and not dehydrating. Well, no, because that's the that's the thing that people don't get with like the Marvel or cinema standards of beauty, especially when it comes to working out and stuff. Because a lot of people have that is their their end game, their motivation posters, hey. and it's like, yeah, but the only reasons they look like that unflexed is because they're severely dehydrated. They will not, like, Chris Hemsworth or Chris Pratt for their respective movies would not drink water for, like, three days, so during the shoot, they can look as ripped as possible. And then, you know, as soon as they start drinking water again, they're super fucking sick. And and that's why, like, when you actually see them when they're off shoot, and they still have a good body, but they actually look like a like a normal person. Bro. Mm. So, 
I think people just need to understand that. It's like no one looks flexed all the time. That no. is just a that is it. Uh, also, if you have as little body fat that you look like that unflexed, you need to go see a doctor. And uh, but, but God's but, sake, have but 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 yeah, guys. Uh, and and if you de take a photo of yourself uh, in a while you are flexing, uh, be prepared that people tell you that this picture is faked, right, Key? Oh. <laughs> anyway, hi. Welcome to my week. Life is exhausting. Um, oh, yeah. Yep, no, I, I told Max about this stuff, and it was just like, because um, I took a progress picture oh. beginning of the week or something, uh, or end of last week, I and it know. was just... My email popped up. It was like, hey, this happened. I'm like, oh, Chad. Did, yeah, did no, I... the thing is, I had a bunch of people DMing me saying, oh, you Photoshopped this. This is fake. You can't look like this all the time. And I'm like... Of course not. That's not normal. Oh, That's oh. not normal. I literally said, as soon as I got home from the gym... That is me with my muscles fully contracted, and I'm holding my arms up, so the body is getting stretched out anyways. That doesn't negate the fact the muscles are fucking there, and that they are at the stage that they are at. Oh. You, you, you nimrods! Exactly. How did you get, how did you graduate preschool? But, like... Uh, Did he, I feel like these are the people that put the triangle blocks in the circle hole. Like, just... <laughs> Can, 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 can we keep keeping calling out the guy? Not not by name, obviously. I'm not calling out the people's names. No, I, I didn't even tell you the person's name. No, no, exactly. Which and I wouldn't want to. No, what I'm what I'm going at is like. Um, so what what I advised you to do? Oh yeah. So I was I was ranting to him about it. He was like, you should just send him uh, the fat uh, glorification and shaming video because other comments were you know the other things that they were saying is like you looked better when you were fat and all this stuff and so i sent it to him then okay later, so because yeah, uh, yeah so uh, i i was like hey like I need the context of this one, him, i'm here just like what? sent him sent him the link to my that stupid about fat shaming and fat glorification and she replied like oh yeah okay i've done it ha huh, better uh, and i'm like okay let me let me watch let me check the dislike count so i took a screen cap of the video the moment when 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 i got confirmation that it got sent to me and yes predictable as it would be as you would expect it to be Mo a few minutes later, or like 15, 20 minutes later, suddenly an additional dislike. Oh. However, if you look closer, oh. there is a like less. The guy is following me, has watched my video before, agreed with it, liked it, but the moment he realized that this video actually calls his own shitty behavior out, he changed his like to a dislike because he caught uh, he felt uh, yeah because you also away. have to realize not only <laughs> is it that I think he didn't realize that the girl in the video that he used, that Max used as an example was me <laughs> <laughs> oh like, never uh, heard from him again yeah, but, yeah, yeah so like, hate the internet but like that's uh, kind of but yeah, just for shits and giggles, linking this video in the description down below, so you can see if you would do the same thing as the guy and realize, hey, I am actually this shitty, like Max called yeah. it out in his video. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, but yeah, no, uh, besides that, uh, I had a total one thing happening this week. Because <laughs> most of my life, especially in these last few weeks, have just been kind of adult stuff uh <laughs> real life work working gotta work for the the right to have fun in a week and a half it's so close um <laughs> soon but um yesterday i went to good old lauren's house good old abby roadie because she's cleaning out like stuff in her house finally getting settled in after the move all this kind of stuff and uh I, are you are you looking for the pictures of her dog that I sent you? Me, not 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 no, because I have not seen her dog yet. Uh, no, not the her video, dog is not, adorable. Not, not the video that you, uh, not the picture that sent you, but the one you posted. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> that's not that's not Phelps, uh, Wait, the, not her Phelps. dog. Wait, what? What? No, that was just a random no, Google no, image that happening. I sent. What? What? You could get onto WhatsApp on your computer. That is true. Maybe I should try that. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> Yeah. This is our fights. How is but no. about me? I... Badly? <laughs> 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 but oh, no. Um, now, see, the thing is, I tend to text pictures Max. I tend to text pictures of Lauren to Max when I'm hanging out with her. And, uh, you know, it, it's usually of her dog because she looks so much like her dog. She is the living embodiment of the dog looking like the owner and vice versa. It doesn't help that in the text conversation there's an actual picture of Lauren above and below the dog. It's true. Before, after, before. So after. you can do a thing of like, oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I went to I went to go see Lauren yesterday to help her out with stuff because I'm that type of friend who will help you with your move. Yeah, in my defense, Look, this dog oh. really looks similar. And then this <laughs> dog also looks similar to this person. And That's, this okay. person That's, looks similar to this dog. Oh, yeah. I, th I think my favorite comment was your reply of, man, it really does look like the dog in, the, in our office. <laughs> in the courtyard of our office. Because they, they have a cavalier. I've seen this dog. It's, it's a cute dog. I love that dog. I call it Lauren Dog. Aww. Even though I don't, that's not its name. Its name is like Brioche. Wait. But I will call it Lauren Dogs. I just realized something. But, look, look, look. So, sorry for interrupting again, but look how the chat is reacting to 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 doggo. a dog on the screen. So cute. Yeah. Happy okay. doggo. Look at the doggo. Lauren shape shifts. Are you doggo. are you realizing that a dog on the screen would mean more active chat? <laughs> So I mean, well, no, 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 no. What this, what, what this proves is that, like, next time you guys can't get a guest, you just replace the spot where I am right now. Okay. We just cut like, like a time cycle of dogs. Okay. F f fun fact about this: I actually considered if, uh, uh like, really, if I ever get ferrets, I will have a live feed of the ferrets in the window at the bottom right, just the camera on the ferrets. But no, I so would not be able to focus on the cast. I'd be watching the ferrets. Watching the ferrets. <laughs> they would probably be asleep during that time. But no, since dogs help, how about my parents have a new dog since yesterday. Her name is Bella. Oh! Oh, you gotta include this in your week? Because it happened on the other end of Germany and all I got was send some pictures. It's a cute dog! It's yeah, a dog! It's as light as the in this chat That's so oh. cute! What's its name? Bella. Bella. Ah! How is she so cute? And to make sure because... So here's the thing. This is a new dog for my parents. My parents live right next to my sister. My sister has a, 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 a very alpha dog who used to have a, a, an eternal feud with my parents' dog. Like, for the last nine years, they literally could not let the dogs out at the same time because they would just uh, uh, attack oh, each other. So what they did to make sure that my parents can live in peace with the neighbor's dog, who happened to be family as well, they took the neighbor's dog with to the pickup so that money could check out Bella if they get along before actually oh. adopting Bella. And are they friends? They are friends. Otherwise, are Bella would not have been adopted. Hey, a new generation. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I'm happy. Okay. But anyway, oh. my week. This is my time. It's true. And it's what okay. happened to you. Key. Keep the sleepy one. I want the Keep sleepy the one. Keep the sleepy one. Okay, you get the sleepy yeah. one. I remove all the other yeah. dogs in the meantime. Put the human but down. no. Uh, but yeah, so I went down the Glen land and helped with uh, Lauren's move and everything. She's moved into the house, but they needed help picking stuff up because <coughs> it is the end of February. Their entire house is still decorated like it was Christmas. <laughs> And uh, so we had to take down the tree and do a bunch of cleaning and also the other things. But it was cool. But, yeah, they like having me down there. And because we were talking about it, I was like, do you want a friend down there right now? And I could I could I could move my sketch room to Sunday. I don't mind doing that for you, girl. And uh, and she was like, I'll see. I don't know how my family wants stuff, people around right now. And they were like, oh, they heard it was Chrissy. So, yeah, you can come down. I was like, Apparently. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to ask why I'm liked. I'm just going to enjoy the fact I am. But we, oh, we did yeah. a bunch of work, and it was... You guys had rain, 
So did oh. we. It oh, was weird. oh, wow. In Los America. Angeles. Oh, wait. That's actually weird we, for you guys, isn't it? We had to um, open the garage and stuff, and we took care of things. And <laughs> this was actually right before, because Phelps was doing a great job helping by staying oh. asleep. Because this he's a good dog. He's an old, he's a pretty old dog. But, like, while his eyesight is sharp and his vocal cords are quite loud, he, um... He can't hear worth shit, so he barks a lot. He's because sleep. I think that's his way of going, that, that, that. But, um, so m a lot of my job yesterday, if I wasn't picking stuff up, was keeping the dog from barking. Because I, I, I just keep belly rubbing the dog for indiscernible amounts of time, so it, it wouldn't bark, and it's just like, yes. <laughs> I, I'm good with dogs. I'm and good then, with and dogs. And as soon as you lift your me. hand away, where did you go? What? No, that I mean, that's essentially it. You can hear like the snorts of a bark growing in its like gob, yeah, just yeah, ready yeah. to go. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, I know that one. That, also, the thing is, this dog snorts like a pig. Like it, it snores. It snores like oh yeah it you, you, you sent me an audio file of the snoring dog ones yeah I showed you it during like a Euroference once of just like ah oh, the dog is taking over oh is it going in our little questions box let's just let's just let's just keep him there for the there okay. we go there we but go but no just like you know it 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 sounds like a lawnmower it sounds like a goddamn lawnmower it is amazing to hear but then um. You know, besides that, we went to an Irish pub after after 100%. working. I think we were working from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. So we worked for a good few hours. Um, but, you know, with that kind of stuff, you can only work for so long until the sun goes down. And it was also raining. So uh, the super that's gloomy. just how it's just well, the thing was, it's a, it was sunny rain, which means there were rainbows everywhere, which was nice but also i just i also it's just also super hard fucking rain with the, and it's like i i mean it's pretty i still have to walk in this i'm um, wet like and not in the good way but like <laughs> there's a fish <laughs> on my head uh um hey. Hey. but no we um we went to an irish pub which was really which was really cool and they were all set up for St. Paddy's good. Day. Good, I'm good. Well done. Look, I, I may I may be more Italian than Irish in my bloodstream, but looks wise I look more Irish, so I might as well say it correctly. Yeah, you'd fit in um, fine here. <laughs> also, you get to live oh, the life I, that most people here live. Like, ah oh, Jesus lads, it's raining. Oh, let's go to a pub. Yeah. I guess the only other minor thing, because I saw people saying it in the pre-show chat, was I, I finally went and got the main yeah, new fixed color, new color. From I know your pastelli mop that it was the other time. So we're back to the Scorpia shaved most around my head look. Uh -huh. yeah, it's true. It's true. It, nice. Except and then <clears throat> and then dyeing my hair, which was, I still have. You're still a little blue. My in, my inner finger meat is uh, still t is still stained blue. I dyed this on like Monday. <laughs> I, I I really hope this washes off by the Do next. Do you ever like just walk up to somebody when you have like excess dye in your hand and just be like, "I'm infected, help me." Well, yeah, I mean, because when I did this, because my hair is um, dark purple, aquamarine, and then the roots are like dark red that I put over the purple so it would look like dark pinkish purple and so my hand one hand was completely red the other hand was completely bluish purple it looked like I killed a Republican and a Democrat <laughs> well uh, no, but nothing, nobody of uh, uh, value was lost that day I mean I'm just gonna say in one hand I killed Bloomberg and the other hand I killed well, any of the running Republicans anybody <laughs> I mean, I'm not disagreeing, but ooh. I mean, I'm not dis. Look, as someone who lived in New York when Bloomberg was mayor, he's a shitty politician. I don't like, and he's a, he's a Republican that's running as a Democrat. So, 
That's the thing to say. A friend of mine, no, 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 no. Genuinely, genuinely, a friend of mine has said the exact same thing. I mean, it fits. I don't know. I've heard I about him. Think about it. It's all of the memes. I was wearing gloves, denim, and then the gloves broke, and then I was like, "Well, I'm not stopping my hair job halfway through." Uh, These hands were made for art, and they will be the canvas like my scalp. Uh, but, but no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, besides that, that was my eventful week. I mean, and we, that's actually, a dog. we actually made it pretty far uh, with with just the week, so I'm not complaining. Uh, but yeah, you guys can go first with your videos because I need to need watch to one. Actually... Okay. Yeah. Oh, you need yeah. To leave, I you mean, still need to I don't think it. I can include this. I don't think I can include this as my media. I'll, I'll put it in. Her, I'll put it in the chat. Oh no! What's going I don't think I can include this as a media. I'm pretty sure that we've made things like stretch before. I uh, mean, our rule is if you can't have something to say about it, if you can I mean, go... it's an otter eating a phone. I, I don't know. know what much more I could say besides it's just great. Well, what about the composition of the, of like the, the, the video? Like, 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 is it at least a very nicely composed otter eating a phone? No. Think, think, about, think about Tommy Oliver's review of Big Horse, the music video. Big Horse, 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 Horse. This is a big horse. This is a small horse. 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 Did, did you guys not know this? This was something happening back in 2014 I, or 13. I, I, see, I, I saw it. Exactly. I, sorry, I was just still staring at the otter eating a phone. Can you please, okay, just, 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 just in place of where your lovely like title card is for this, can we just put the video of the otter eating the phone? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yep. Uh, how do I... Can and I just leave it there. Oh god, it has audio! Ah, ah, I did not expect it to have audio. Okay, putting it it's here. The, 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 tweet, the tweet's caption on the link says, I fixed the audio. <laughs> where, where is it? Okay. There we go! Yay! With audio for the audio. <laughs> Look at that thing! He's just going for it! Wait, I know a way that I can get around this, but I'll still go last. Because it, it would go into the Q&A. Okay. You said we could bring up topics to talk about if we don't have media, yeah, right? Absolutely, that's what I said before. Yes, all right. So, you guys go first, I'll go last. Okay, uh, Emerald, do you want to go first, or should I go first? Yeah, I was actually going to ask if I can go in the middle. Uh, okay, you know, then, like, then, then I will... Since, since I was late, I would ask if you go first. Uh, absolutely, I can go first, and then I will make a, a, a hot way, a, a great Zach way uh, to your totally not predictable and super pretentious and uh, obvious uh, I thing. have no idea what <laughs> I'm talking okay. about. Okay, okay, no. okay. So, guys, guys, just so you to give you in the chat for, for uh, a chance to real-life play the game of Guess Emerald's Media. Uh, I give you... Let's see how many hints. hints. I don't even know what Emerald's Media is. Did he, he just does. send it to you? Yes. Oh, yeah, he did. So, oh, you yes, can sir. you can play with the chat key. Um, but, 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 yeah, so uh, basically... Okay, let me, let me give you hints about Emerald's... Why is this not getting bigger? Make it bigger. Fuck, it doesn't you zoom can anymore. Show what it is. I swear to God, and you ruined the whole game. Uh, no, 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 but, 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 no, I'm not, sh I'm not showing it, no worries. I'm on my media, which is, for some reason, shrunken. It has shrunk, the image has shrunken. How do you I know how it feels? Oh, oh, no, it's coming back, okay. Uh, no, so, tips for the chat to guess Emerald's media. He is a film dude. And he he is he he is not the film dude for the kind of MCU movies. I mean, last time he was here, he brought us three billboards. So he's more looking for the. I brought you more things than that. Uh, yeah, yeah, what, but, uh, what... so, but yeah. Every every time you're here, I believe you have a movie of a more acquired taste. So Kino, darling. Yeah, Kino. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah. So the hint is he is the film dude, and the second hint is, you probably have heard of it. Okay, now going to my media. Uh, now also going down the route of predictability because I didn't make it to the cinema. This Was week. it nominated I... for an Oscar, Emerald? Did... Am, I am I allowed to answer questions? <sighs> it's just it's one hint. It's okay. one hint. I, I, I believe it actually yes. got... Did, it, oh, did, oh, it did oh, get nominated oh, oh. for one, didn't the question, it? The question, the question was, it, well, was it nominated? Yeah, yes. and I believe it did get nominated for one. So, okay, okay so... To, to, hmm. to continue on the predictability train, uh, I 
didn't go to the cinema, didn't watch something new on Netflix, didn't find something fun on YouTube, didn't play any new games. So I'm back audio to... Audiobook? I'm back to an audiobook. Yes! Oh, wait, you talked to me about this one. Yes! Yes, I talked about this one. This is... I finished it by now, since we talked. It's an audiobook, all right. <laughs> I have. Let me say the specific thing before you go into it about our conversation about this audiobook. Sure. Was, oh, was there a lore it, behind it's this? The, it's the small tangent of, well, I, I'm, go, I'm probably going to talk about it on Hawkwood. Well, yeah, but I want to I hear about it, so maybe I want to listen to it and, and have some contribution. I, I don't know if I recommend it, though. <laughs> it's true, and I still okay, don't. Is your impression of A and Y? That is, at, at least she doesn't do a German Nazi accent, so this is a nicer yes, this is a nicer impression of me than ninety nine percent of my friends otherwise my American friends I should Chris. say. I don't think we could do it on live <laughs> without getting <laughs> shut down. No, I mean Chris, Will, um, I believe I had other people also trying to speak for me and went into super strong accent like nine 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 nine. Anyways, it's, it's a West German, not an East German. <laughs> Anyways, Gideon, oh, here, here, here. Go on. Gideon the Nines. Oh boy, I can still not decide if it's good or bad. So it passes a basic test. It's, it's competently written. So the writing, it's like sentences. It's descriptive. You, 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 get, you get what's going on. You, you get a feel for it. So you can follow the story. The story is not all over the place. But the story itself and the universe it takes place in is so fucking weird. And the character is also so fucking weird and nothing makes sense. Um, so, uh, to, to give you the... I, the best thing I can co uh, compare it with is uh, uh, probably Warhammer 40k because you have all those necromancers and you have an immortal em emperor ruling from somewhere. You have different houses and they are there's a strong vibe about religion and military uh, and everybody. Yeah, every single house there are nine houses and the first house is the emperor and then there are the eight more houses and everybody everyone has a little stereotype t type to them. Uh, so the, the sixth are the scientists, uh, uh, the seventh are the artists, um, the, the, the eighth are the bigots, the second are the military dudes, like, da, 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 we are super military, blah, 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 blah. So, so all of them have this kind of theme going on, um, and the ninth, which is where our protagonist is from, hence the title, they are just the the, the groove, the groove, the the uh, groove, the yeah, this is not a set, the, the the grunts. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I mean, look at it. Uh, 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 crypt, the cryptiest of them all. They they live in a literal tomb and. Uh, uh, oh, the they're like crypt keepers. Yeah, they they are all like structured like a like a like an order like nuns and whatnot. So the the ruler is literally the reverend, the the ruler of the house is the reverend. And, uh, but yeah, well, not the ruler, I guess, because the ruler is his 17 year old daughter, the reverend's daughter, due to the fact that her parents died and she is animating them as flash puppets and pretending that their, her parents are still alive and just having put down a, a, a valve of silence while she is actually running the entire place for the last seven years. <laughs> and, well, the only other p person on this planet who is halfway human is Gideon, the protagonist and titular character. And she does make the least sense. So she's l growing up in this, uh, uh, what do you call this place where nuns live? A convent. Yes, yeah, exactly. A nunnery? In this convent. <laughs> she's basically growing up in this death cult convent and uh, uh, has been dropped there as an infant, so she's not even uh, a member of this uh, pla uh, planet in the first place. It's also sci-fi. Did I mention that it's sci-fi? That's one of the points why I went like... Sci-fi uh, necromancer. Okay. Exactly. It's That's why I went Warhammer 40k. War. Yeah. 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 Uh, however, for people who, who, who can do anything with that reference, she is Blackjack from Project from Fallout Equestria Project Horizons. Due to down to the point where she is wearing fucking sunglasses in her otherwise not fitting outfit. And just the sunglasses are yeah, I can zoom in even more. 
So her face is painted like a skull, but she's wearing shades. <laughs> yes, I know. And this is like she, look, thing... she looks like she's wearing the uh, the Punisher's logo on her face. No, but but it's like she... it's like a mix of the Punisher and Crowley from uh, from uh, what you call it, Good Omens. Yeah. She has like a red. Yeah, I was about to say because her hair is like a red headed version of Captain Marvel's Endgame haircut. <laughs> well, that was bad, yeah. But yeah, good old Gideon. Uh, but but yeah, she doesn't make any... So she grew up literally since being an infant all the way in this place as a soldier in, uh, in this convent. Uh, 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 and she grows up being completely rebellious, having like... A, a cursing like a sailor, being a pervert, having... Which also doesn't make sense. A porn collection. How did she even... How do you get a porn collection in a convent? On a planet. This entire planet is a convent. Uh, no, 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 there is a spot on this planet which is in a some kind of atmosphere bubble. And uh, in this atmospheric bubble, they built this graveyard convent. And how did she get... I, it, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense how she got porn there. It doesn't make sense how she got these shades because that's also the big thing. Like, she's traveling then to a different location with, with, with her... Uh, uh, with her leader or whatever and basically the moment the door of their spaceship opens she is like drawing out those glasses and putting them on so her leader can't stop her so she has those shades and she has hidden them and she knows that it's a cool thing to do and puts them on in this moment it doesn't make sense this entire character is 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 what do you call it uh, uh dissonance something something dissonance Cognitive dissonance? Yeah, something like this, where it doesn't, fit, where it breaks the immersion because it's so out of place and doesn't fit the rest of it. But at the end of, and then they get there and it turns a little bit into a murder mystery and all the other houses, everybody is spleenish and everybody looks suspicious and uh, you try to figure out, oh my god, and then dying starts. Well, in a story about space necromancers, people die. Oh. But no, they have a very limited cast in this castle where they then try to... And again, there's this giant, beautiful castle with a lab in the basement. Just a lab, which, which once again feels so tropey, so fan fiction -y. Like 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 a video game thing where... Or, it's all over the place, but it's still competently enough written that you don't drop it because it's shit. Because it isn't, and apparently it gets celebrated pretty much in, in, in its circle and this is a debut debut novel so um, uh, this is the first thing the author officially published which is impressive in its own right because for that it's fucking good but it's still I, I, I that's the thing I cannot recommend it because it's not good it's not bad don't take me wrong it's not bad but it's so weird and, and you have can you in good conscience tell people to spend money <sighs> I mean, if you have a, if you are in for a ride and have a credit on Audible left, then sure, go ahead. I mean, you you see me, I am intrigued by its weirdness. But uh, I also, and it's all told from Gideon's point of view. So also you get the wor entire world tinted through her perspective. So mm -hmm. there are a group of characters that are referred to as the awful teens because she had a bad first experience with them. Through, throughout the majority of the book as the awful team, the other awful team, just because she had a... It's her perspective, even if it's third-person third narration. Um, it's, it's a right. It's a fucking right. And, uh, of course, knowing my fucking luck... I mean, this is, I, I, this is just pointing it out how it is... Um, of course, once I started listening to it, only then I checked, and yes, it's the first part of a trilogy which only has one book released yet. You yeah, have I'm plenty of okay, books but... in your library you can listen to in the meantime. I know, I know. It's just the thing that this is now the third series I have on Audible, which is the series, which is literally what I just said, but follow me on this one, which is now in product, which is incomplete. The only thing I am happy about is that I have not bought a single book of Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire on Audible yet because I also don't have a guarantee if this will ever be finished, this series. And I know from my fanfiction days, nothing is more frustrating than a goddamn story you get invested in that then suddenly gets dropped. You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just read you the, 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 the books 
for Song of Ice and Fire. I've got most of them here. Uh, but 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 yeah. So sure, sure is finished. G- G- Gideon's a nine. Um, I cannot recommend it actively, except for somebody who is looking for a ride, who or who was simply intrigued by the madness I just described. Once again, it's a want to be dark, but with a super snarky and disrespectful and rebelling teenage, then again, she's 18, but a rebelling young adult protagonist in a world full of skeletons and murder. And, and, and yet she can't stop herself from being so weird. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, at some like, point... Does it come across it, as very, like, it, it, uh, some uh, point, like edgy teenage protagonist type know. thing? Or it, is it, it like... At, at some point of an actual dramatic reveal... It's not a teenage story. It, it feels like maybe young adult novel. I don't know. It's like probably somebody's passion project. But yeah, at some point, at a really dramatic revelation, she literally breaks down on the floor and is like, Oh my God, why am I so attractive? <laughs> And the reply to it is, because if you would, by, by the person who is supposed to hate her, but is like replying straight away, well, if you wouldn't be, somebody would have killed you already. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I kind of want to read this now just I'm for that. I'm sorry for that one. It's, 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 but once again, this was in a big, this was like close to the climax, and there was a dramatic reveal, and... Two people just died uh, half a chapter ago, and she has this moment. And it's like, what? So if you want to read a book with sci-fi necromancers, with jail bait porn somehow having... No, nothing happens. No, 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 but... Oh, wait, at some, po- at some point, a character gets completely naked, and this scene gets completely underplayed. But in other scenes where characters are completely dropped, there is so much I'm not so saying that there's porn in the book. In I'm saying that she owns porn oh, and yeah, she's she jailbait yeah, age. Yeah. <laughs> you get the corn out of your ears. <laughs> okay, yes, uh, Gideon's a nine. Yes. And, and from this, on probably the lowest end of the spectrum of uh, uh, high-cultured, deep, meaningful uh, uh, media in our world nowadays, let's go to something you cannot go higher than, uh, 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 for everybody who guessed it uh, correctly, the big pretentious... I am not even sure it's pretentious. So, Maybe it's so, just good. So. It's, so as we all know, it, it, I am a I am a man of culture. Yeah, and it's so uh, oh, I, right. am, uh, I am I am I am not a weeb. Uh, I do not watch much anime. Uh, I don't go out of my way to uh, indulge myself in Japanese or Korean literature or uh, animation or any of that kind of thing because uh, honestly, it, like it. It, it doesn't interest me, like, all that much. The most I'll do is I'll go to a Korean bar, which is around in Dublin, which is quite nice, and I will bring the two of you one day if you ever decide to get off your arses and visit me. Uh, but Kino must go... <laughs> I'm, 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 I must educate people uh, and be a pretentious douchebag about it. So uh, that's why... Uh, Chrissy, you were almost right. I was almost going to talk about The Lighthouse, and uh, if I was, I was just going to open up the whole review by just going, Hark! But uh, I, I had to think like, let's see, you're a cinematography nerd, so why don't why not right. pick the one cinema one movie nominated during the Oscars that was all black and white, which is like how every cinematographer nope. creams their no, damn no, no, show. No, 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 no. One oh, thing oh, that is oh, more pretentious. More... It has nothing to do with the fact that it, it has nothing to do with the fact that it's all in black and white. It's to do that it's shot in four three, but where yeah. the aspect ratio is like tiny. The one thing that is even more pretentious. Original audio of subtitles. Parasite. I'm going to talk about Parasite. That was my second guess, and I got it right. It was your third <laughs> guess. Your second guess. It was, was my third guess, but I got <laughs> hey, I got it right. You I got it. it right at the end of the day. Oh, oh yeah. I actually I actually see the conversation in Skype. Is it Lighthouse? It's all mod was. Two popes. No. Parasite? No. Maybe. <laughs> 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 uh, we have fun here. But yes, yes Paris, uh, I, I've seen this movie, so I can contribute too. Oh, you have seen it. Yes, the only one who hasn't seen it is Max because he's a slow reader. Oh, so you two are enlightened. That's very good. So, uh, so yeah, uh, the, the, this this movie uh, is uh, a Korean film. Uh, it's made by uh, Bong Joon Ho, the man who uh, made his Oscars kiss. Um, 
and pretty much like going going to a film school or like studying film uh no one shut up about this movie for ages and ages and ages so i was like all right fine i i i, I guess i got to go and see it uh and i i don't use the word masterpiece very much oh my. i'm not going to for this one either <laughs> yeah, but, but i think that it's uh it, it's it's pretty good like like honestly there there's of all the movies that could have won as the, as many awards uh, as it did i'm glad that this you know, got the got the clout and the credit because I do honestly think that it deserves it. So, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, the story is basically it centers around this uh, this kind of poor family uh, who live in South Korea. These guys on the screen right now, um, and, you know, uh, they have no money. They're 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 barely able to get by and feed themselves. And uh, one day, the uh, the the son uh, has a friend come over, and like you know, the friend's fairly rich; he's fairly well off, uh, and he basically tells him that he's about to leave for university. Uh, and that he's tutoring uh, this rich girl, you know, like like teaching her English, basically. And because he needs to leave, he wants him to take over his job. So the guy goes and kind of like takes a tour around the house, meets the family a little bit, uh, and then basically sets in place a plan to get the rest of his family hired by this rich family, so that you know they can make a lot of money and be wealthy and you know like have things uh, for once. Um, and for the first thirty minutes the movie kind of follows a linear kind of path. Like, you know what's going to happen. They're going to... Tell me when I, You tell me when I have to turn on the spoiler warning, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. The, 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 first, the, the, the first 30 minutes, you kind of, you know, it, it's, it's fairly self-explanatory. You can really kind of get what he's going to do, that the rest of the family's going to kind of come in and, you know, like start working with them, that they're going to screw over the people who are already, you know, working there. And for the first 30 minutes, you get it. It's all good. Things make sense. And then after those 30 minutes, it goes completely batshit insane off the rails. Mm-hmm. Every, oh, wait, it's every, literally saying it. We expect yeah. it to be one thing, but then it's... But it mutates into something else, literally. Because every 30... After the first 30 minutes, you're thinking, oh, shit, now what's going to happen? And then 15 minutes later, oh, shit, now what's going to happen? And then another 15 minutes, oh, shit, now it's going to happen! It, it, it's, it's, it, it, it finds that kind of magic sweet spot of being a movie that's not fast-paced. Like, it's a little bit slow, but you're not bored because something is always going on. It's either a character is talking about something or kind of explaining something in a really interesting way. There's either, like, these really gorgeous kind of, like, beautiful shots that are kind of going on that show you the house or that show you, you know, like, how they're sort of putting in place their plans. Um, there's the, there's there's just a lot to it that, like, really kind of, like, hooks you uh, into the story. And after, like, those first few minutes, you do forget the fact that there's there's subtitles. I think one of the one, one of the best things that, the, that this director has actually said is, like, you know, if you can... What was it? It was like, if you can get over the one-inch fence of subtitles, so many wonderful films are opened to you. And you kind of do forget about it after a while, because it just becomes automatic. It's like you look at the text, look at the screen, look at the text, look at the screen. Um... And uh, the the it's 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 all very well acted. So the uh, the the performances really help draw you uh, along the the whole kind of uh, journey that these people are kind of going on in the film. And what 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 I think is is so particularly fantastic about it is that he he wrote a film that perfectly lulls you into a false sense of security because mm-hmm. when it starts it's really funny. Be like like it's it's not super serious until like the last 10 minutes, uh, or, or, or at least it doesn't go from like zero to a hundred uh, um, until like the, the it's, it's, it, it's a slow progression of like kind of getting to a hundred. And you know, you're kind of watching these people go about their lives, you know, you're laughing because like, you know, there's just mad things that they have to do. The film literally opens with the only way that they can get Wi-Fi in their house is to go into the toilet, like into the bathroom. Uh, and there's like a little ledge where their toilet is. So there's the floor and then the toilet's up here. So they have to like stand up on the ledge and hold their phones up to even get uh, internet. And that's just so that the mom can get a text to see if she's gotten an offer for a job yet. So, you know, it's like, it, yeah, it has that kind of perfect like dark comedy kind of uh, kind of vibe about it. Um, so, you know, the while you're watching it for that first little bit, you think that like this is how the rest of the movie is going to be. And then, then it's just that slow bleed of like slowly figuring out that like things are just gonna go from like bad for them already to like absolutely like horrible by the the by uh, by by the very end of it. Um, 
which is uh, w- w- which is well, uh, I guess one of my favorite ways. Uh, but like you know, movies you know like can be written to you know like get the audience and kind of bring them into the world and then like slowly toy around with their emotions a little bit until you eventually you know like bring them to that you know like horrible dark place by the very very end. Um, yeah, the, um, I, I, I can give a definite sort of like answer on this one because I think that it is absolutely worth seeing. I know that I'm being the pretentious douchebag film student by saying, oh, y- y- yes, this 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 overseas film. Korean subtitles starring people that you've never heard of. I'm so excited for it. Ah, Academy Awards favorite. Academy Award winning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you guys seen Uncut Gems, the Adam Sandler movie? Yes. Like, I... There's one bit of like, holy shit, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, I it's, love Uncut Gems. That's also a good... I should have watched I disagree. that. I disagree. I disagree, Chrissy. <laughs> you don't like Uncut Gems? No, I'm memeing that moment where he's like... Oh, you know, okay. Just... Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I haven't watched Uncut Gems since it came out, so... But but what a great segue, Fair. Chrissy. What did you bring for us today? Not Uncut Gems. Oh, um, boy. I'll watch Parasite. It's good. Yeah, go watch Parasite. It's good. I do think, yeah... Watch it digitally if you're a slow reader. I know, wait, wait, like, watch, watch. no, this was a conversation me and Max had because he's like, I, it's not that I don't want to see the movie. It's I can't. I'm not you good at can't reading read subtitles fast enough. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so it's the reason why I prefer anime dubbed as well because I'm really not a quick reader and. Uh. Yeah, but at least if you watch it digitally, you're able to pause it if you have to because yeah. it is a fantastic movie. And Emerald's right. Eventually, it does become muscle memory. Because it's yeah. not like people are talking rapid fire in the mm. movie, too. So, Because the movie's also very much a setting tension and, and a lot of atmospheric stuff. So yeah. it's talking like, it's is like, not the yeah. highest priority, in all honesty. It's like how Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was. It's like, like, like it's, it's, it's all build up to this thing that's going to happen in like the last ten minutes. That's just like yeah, an explosion. Like, like, except they explode. don't... Uh, Except they don't kill the Manson family in Parasite. Yeah, there's no flamethrowers. Spoilers, they don't kill the Manson family. There's no flamethrowers in Parasite either, spoilers. Oh, Oh. yeah. But no, um, my media is a topic that I just... I was starting to talk about in the the pre-show, but I wanted to just continue the topic because, goddamn, I want to talk about it. Because uh, I literally did not consume any new media this week. I watched the same YouTube videos. I watched the same movies. I watched the same TV shows. The only new thing I watched was Michael Bolton's sexy Valentine's Day special on Netflix. And that does not have enough to talk about. Well, It's I mean, just about Michael Bolton doing a, a Valentine's Day special to help Santa Claus conceive 75,000 more kids for Christmas the next year. Well, and of course it was that. There's oh, and, and yeah, of course, of course, this that we have over here. But no, um, memes—they are a part of culture. Oh yes, are they? And they—I mean, at this point, yeah, they are. You can—I have talked to people. You can basically have a full conversation with people with quoting memes, or like if a show has a lot of like very quotable, memeable moments like Simpsons or SpongeBob, you can just have a whole conversation based off of them. They're part of culture. Sometimes you don't understand cult. <laughs> as as see, some things just have natural triggers that you see something and you just know exactly what to do. But sometimes you don't understand culture. And I want to talk about that. Uh, what are, like, the, and the chat can answer, too. What are, like, like memes, that kind of meme culture moments that has happened? doesn't have to be this year, because this year barely started. Of, like, uh, that you just never understood. And, and I guess vice versa, the one that you completely... Completely took to heart. That is the one that to you will never die. For me, that's dabbing. Dabbing will never die. Dabbing will never not be funny. Dabbing is just Wait, beautiful I, and perfect. I, I I missed my cue, didn't I? Oh no! You, I need I need to, I need to set a, a set a shortcut for dabbing. Control D. <laughs> Control D. 
But Control Shift D is already my 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 thing for the the desk. Can't you just do Control D, not Control Shift? Do you the, need to have Shift in the command? The, the Control okay, D so the... did something. I tried this earlier and something exploded. So I probably oh, just oh, have geez. to set a few more screen chat uh, screen cat. Uh, then the multiple me screen. I mean, like. But yeah, I mean, the things that don't die for me are like dabbing or white guy blinking gif, which is the best oh. reaction to any... Yes, that. I, I that is the best I reaction. I, I even have it as a, a, a gif in my uh, the, uh, Discord. Link down below. Uh, yeah, it's perfect. And, and so, yeah, can, I, can we like that here? Because I actually don't know what that is. The white guy blinking? I feel like I oh. know what it is, but I can't see it in my head. Line. White guy put, blinking. Our... That, that's actually a good point. I probably should show it when it's uh, when we talk uh, the individual memes we talk about. Okay, know, there it is incoming. I know, I know what the thing us. I mean, let's 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 take a look. White guy blinking. Oh no! Wait, no. It, it, yeah. switched, it switched between other it ones. No, God damn it! Where's the original? Why are they? I put all... it in the Skype chat. I put the proper one in the Skype chat. Okay, here it's also one that apparently is not altered. Yeah, there you go. See, that is the perfect reaction to anything ever. I know exactly what that is now. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah. I know what it is. But no, there's plenty of them that I have absorbed that I think are just perfect. They will never not be funny. Things that that go way back into the older eras, like like tr some things just tell perfect stories, like troll face and all that stuff. But sometimes you just don't fucking understand certain memes, and I, I'm slowly getting to that point where I don't understand half the things that happen nowadays. And I don't know who to blame, but I don't understand it, and it scares me. Uh, mostly because I have had some virality with things that I do, and I don't get why they become viral, and it scares me. You're getting uh, old. It's like the weirdest uh, shut up. thing to latch on to. Although, although, to be that fair, it's not the, something the, you say to someone a few weeks before their birthday is you're getting old. Old. Are getting old. old. But no, um, I, I think, like, but yeah, I just want to open it up because to share in this feeling of oldness, like a meme that you just don't understand the appeal of. And I guess, like, I mean, that Ice Age baby thing has become that for me in recent I memory. Love, I think it's amazing. But the meme that I will never understand is, is like, it's not, I don't know if you count it as a meme, but it's definitely something people do in a lot of memes where they will just blast your ears out with audio. Wait, this became a, a recent, recent thing? meme? Face boosting? No, not a recent meme. That's just a meme in meme culture I don't understand is the ear rape thing where you just like completely <laughs> deep fry the audio. No, I mean, Ice Age Baby became recently a meme? Yes, yeah. and the whole meme is hurting it, like just causing it pain and harm and saying how much you want to kill the thing. Yeah, well, let, well, hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the difference then between that and Stuart Little? Because the Stuart Little meme is literally the same thing. It's like, you know, like killing I Stuart Little. I didn't even Little. know there was a Stuart Little meme. No, that's the joke. It's like 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 the Ice Age baby meme is literally the Stuart Little meme of hurting and killing Stuart Little, just repackaged as what the Ice Age baby. What the hell is this? K-pop bitches be <laughs> Yeah, see? I don't understand it, and it scares me. <laughs> uh, I don't get it either. What? I don't like it. Like, it, it just kind of... I just... I I don't... I don't... What I don't, the Oh, yeah, there, there's the recent meme that I... That's the other Happy recent meme I that I like, I that I can okay. connect with, is um Ethan from Unis Honest with the really tiny hands going, Oh, my fucking God. Like, <laughs> that is what that makes me feel. Oh, my fucking God. But, no, the, but, yeah, so I guess... What about you, Emeralds? You're our guest. What's a what's a meme that you'll you'll never understand why it's so meme? I like I I never really got into memes until I started college, and then and then I was ruined. Uh, so like old like older like old school memes are stuff that like I was never really into, and I feel like I'm still not like most people look at troll face and like you know like ah oh, memories, but I look at it, I'm just like yeah, okay, whatever. I can I can I can take it or leave it. I I I, I don't know if that makes me a heathen. Uh, but like the things that I like really connect with the meme that will never die for me because I use it on a daily basis is uh, uh, is the Chad meme. Like literally, like whenever whenever someone does something like you know that I think is cool or like something good happens, my immediate response is just to be like, oh, Chad. Like that's that will never not be funny and it will never not die for me. Like what's what it? a I, lucky name to have if a person become is a person named Chad in I the never, Chad thing. It's about I, being cool. 
Chrissy, I, ne- I, I never sent you this meme, but like one of the best variations of the Chad Virgin meme I saw was it was the Virgin Beatles versus the Beach Chads. Yes, I seen that one. I don't I don't agree. <laughs> Ended up hating each other, went off and made like their own kind of pretentious music, had an unbreakable bromance, revived a dying genre of music. <laughs> Uh, I don't oh. the, the the chat I get the Chad name thing I don't get the meme itself either but yeah n- n- never this really. one's harm this one's harmless though like this is not the Ice Age baby yeah, but the this, Ice Age baby thing is harmless fuck the Ice Age baby but yeah but this was actually the the, the positive meme that Emerald brought up yeah what's your negative meme Emerald I already said this like before but like and all th- the this old is, ones like troll face. Yeah, 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 the, the the older memes. I can't think of like any like recent memes that I've hated. I, I, I when when Uganda Knuckles first came out, I hated it, and then slowly, oh, I know the way. And, wait, and then slowly after it came out, I was corrupted into being like, oh, do you know the way, my brother? And then not only this, get this one. My mom does not understand memes at all. I've tried to get her to understand them, and like she just can't. But. She unironically says, "Do you know Due now?" Whenever yes. like yes, so- yes. <laughs> <laughs> or like, oh, what was God? What was another one? Hang on a second. Uh, I'm, uh, d- uh, anyway, you you talk about your meme stuff because I'm, uh, I'm 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 just gonna go through old well, like chats with my fair, phone and see if I send her any. I mean, I, I I am personally the guy who I like memes uh, uh, that that can carry a message. Like uh, the, the, yeah. the I I'm probably not quick enough, especially finding them and put them on screen while I talk about them. So um, if you have to use your imagination. But I'm also pretty. Uh, I'm, I I don't have the obscure memes, so you will probably for every meme that I list be like, oh yeah, that one. Uh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the ones you can carry a certain message with, like going with a classic, like one does not simply go into or does X. Uh, the the ring, yeah. a lot first of the ring world memes. Problem. Yeah, the, one does not oh, simply. Oh, the first world problem meme. Beautiful, first world problem is a great one. I love first world problem. It has problem. a message in it. Uh, the 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 um unfaithful boyfriend meme like with the sexy girl and oh, the boyfriend going like oh. and that, his that girlfriend one is, is great and his girlfriend is like oh. I, literally the sound she yeah, made doing, rec- is- uh, doing the picture taking uh, yeah mm-hmm. but and, and if you can make it in a smart way you can just put either you can use it and, and be like um I don't know. You you have the sexy girl as Bloomberg. You have the Republican voter in the middle, and you have Trump being all like, Ugh. "There already, I made a meaningful version of that." Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can make it, and it instantly is like, "Oh, I get the message." Uh, or like with this, is this a butterfly meme? Uh, I mean, this this one requires a little bit of. No, you, you don't even need to know the original context. You just need to be meme sensitive and understand what the meme says like okay you have a person who doesn't get it and then then you plaster a caption on the guy and 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 are like hey should i keep going political i can't like i can do this all night is this a is the, yeah, you is see, this a democrat <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you see trump's face up there you see voter uh, american vo- uh, american republican voter and under it the caption like is this democracy um <laughs> anyways but but yeah you can use memes for 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 me i mean this is uh, to come back to a gun knuckles gun knuckles uh, doesn't really carry for a message it's just a funny thing it's like something like goofy to say um like you know the way oh fuck you desert samurai is this a podcast <laughs> Uh, no, more like a video diary of people slowly with degrading mental health. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah. yeah, this is just supposed to spiraling into insanity like but, 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 before we end up with the loop. But yeah, positive end memes that can actually g- deliver a punch or a meaning or whatever. Funny memes like Knuckles that are just there. I'm like, ah, yeah, that, that, that's funny. Like, it's okay, I'm not... But yeah, memes, memes that I am against... Uh, um, I mean, it's not even against you. Just are like, you just don't why? Get them. Yeah, You're just like, why does this exist? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for example, as much as I hate with a glowing passion, um, 
what's even the name of it, loss. Uh, the loss meme. Oh, lost oh, yeah. Yeah, but it, it, as much as I personally I hate hate, hate it, 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 it's more of the shit post meme. I get the context. It's like okay, it was this out of nowhere thing, and, and now it got memeified. But it also doesn't carry a message. It's basically on the same level as a, level as a knuckles meme. It's just an inside joke that the stranger looking at it being like, "Hey, do you know Davai? I don't get it. What is this ugly cartoon oh, with the lost thing?" Like. Oh, I mean, I'm 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 almost at the point where when people find it somewhere, like uh, on Tumblr a few weeks ago, I reblocked something where there was a big fake wall of uh, a wall of big fake hieroglyphs, and it was basically memes putting in there, like including the cat meme, the the the, the screaming at the cat meme and whatnot, and at some point you also see those graphics for uh, Lost, and I was like. Can't even be angry. At this point, I can't even be Sometimes angry. They're, if, they're, if they're creative enough, exactly. you can respect it. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I'm still trying to find. But in general, like meaningless memes that 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 that. that I mean, I'm trying to find the difference between uh, uh, Uganda knuckles and this meaningless meme where I'm like, ah, stop annoying me with it. I mean, the, 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 the Knuckles thing, it was funny due to the fact that the entire thing, how it came up, that it was a practical joke. They just did, they did it in real life and it was just insane to witness and the meme was born out of this. So I guess there's this behind it. Loss due to its creativity and its age kind of grew as well. But sometimes you have those standalone memes where you just look at it. Obviously, I cannot come up with an example. So, chat if you have one, I can tell you if this falls under this category for me. But yeah, this kind of meme where you're like looking at it it's like, it's not funny, it's not deep, just a random picture. Don't waste my time with it. Give, How about me, we live in give, society? Me, give me a meme with depths and, and, and meaning and, and artistic expression that I don't want to have this meme without any of these. But yeah, Emerald, I believe you passed the talking ball to me to, to, to continue with some. Yeah, Baby Yoda I don't get, but I haven't watched Mandalorian, so I probably should not talk about Baby Yoda, but yeah, I also don't get it. I haven't seen Mandalorian yet, but yeah, I still kind of just like like Baby Yoda is just like kind of just kind of cute to me. It's like ah, oh, now I want to watch I mean, that it's now. Cute. The, I, the meme is just more people being like, I will die for this creature. Yeah, I, I, since, the child. Since somebody who has not seen the Mandalorian and only knows those still frames from it, I'm like, it's a meh looking puppet. It doesn't really trigger my parental instincts, and I'm like. Uh, take this Muppet out of my uh, we, uh, uh, out of my s Twitter stream. Show me rather Kermit zipping tea. Get this Muppet away from me. <laughs> no, broke versus woke. Broke baby Yoda. Woke Kermit oh, zipping yeah, tea. Exactly. That's exactly. also a great meme. Is the broke oh, versus yeah, the, the, or uh, me an intellectual? But yeah, this oh. was my contribution to this topic, so I am out. Okay, about, well I contributed, uh, and I think Emerald was just looking up chats with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was to find memes, but I have two that I can oh. that, that, that I can pitch to you guys. So the the two are either or or, or two that I like. Uh, the Winnie the Pooh meme, where it's like the first one is like he's he like it, it it shows Winnie the Pooh looking bored and like there's a word next to him, and then it's like there's uh, there's Winnie the Pooh like with a smile and he's wearing like a suit and a top hat and he has like a, a, a oh like a that lock. one yes there it is. Uh... So, I mean, I like this format of memes anyway, because you know, that's also like the Drake format and the, and the like, uh, this one does not bring it's joy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. This went down. Agent 14, I see this, you again. This, this, this uh, escalated quickly. I guess a lot of things, TikTok memes are very hit and miss in the sense of I like. I guess they never miss, huh? <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> you uh. walked. You, this was you. It was just, if that's, if that's a brick wall, if that's a brick wall. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you were talking, you were saying two memes, Emerald. So what's your second? Yeah, what's the second one? Uh, we live in a society. Oh, the, the the one with the uh, coming the out of uh, uh, oh wait, live in the society. Wait, do you, do you 
the Joker one? Oh, a Joker one. Wait, is this a uh, meme? It's, it's, no, 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 like, I, I don't know if it spawned out of Joker, because, like, my friends and I were saying we live in a society before, like, Joker came out. No, it actually and only... was the other Joker. Yes, okay, there we go. Yeah, we live Joker. in a society. Yeah, we uh, we we lovingly refer to uh, uh, to Joker like the new one now as uh, the society movie, <laughs> just because of just like the amount of me. It's not what it fucking that... deserved. <laughs> or like uh, the the one with like Robert De Niro. Where it's like you're laughing. If people are dead and you're laughing, like so many people have just taken that and like made something different. Out <laughs> the of people it. took that that with uh, Toy Story Four winning over Klaus, and it just was like you you took out a beloved two D anime film and. And took their Oscar, and you're laughing. And then it I'm just laughing. cuts to what the Woody laughing face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or like uh, the oh. we we make we we make a lot of Star Wars memes. The Star Wars memes are just ones that I love. Like there was there was like a post that like some Instagram influencer put up where like it was her like looking all pretty, and the caption was "Hello there," and then every comment underneath it was "General Kenobi." General Kenobi. <laughs> but yeah, so before uh, it's it's getting later, oh, so we is. have questions oh, to sorry. answer. Anything. But I'm happy I brought that yes. topic. We it was a lot. Of fun. Topics work. Topics right. work. Went too long. I apologize. Oh no, you didn't go on for too long. It, we, we went all went on a tangent about memes. So yeah, yeah. So it was a very loaded topic, which is good for the context of it. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, did you also, have any Twitter questions this time oh, around? Oh, I actually have plenty of them for once. Uh, I just, but uh, before I go to that, I just want to point out that Emerald, right now, with you as a guest, we have like uh, uh, more viewers than we had for any of the other guests so far this year. I bring, I bring good. <laughs> you do, you you do bring. You bring the, the funny. You also, you one mean. second. You. Is there a party going on outside? What? Is there? I did. No, it's just one very loud kid with a with a radio. Wait, wait, wait! You are telling me that you're having a kid standing in front of your window with a jukebox <laughs> over his head? No, no, it is not. It is not that. Um, no, it was. Just, it's just this one, <clears throat> this one kid with a bike, and he has the radio like tied to the front of the bike, and he's just doing circles in the grass. Is it a boombox? Uh, uh, no, it's I... like it's like it's a, it's a really tiny radio. I think like a Bluetooth speaker or something. Yep, yep. They're actually louder than the average boombox from back in the day. Dang. Uh, who was it? Oh, yeah, question from, time. John Cusack. Yes. No, but yeah, yeah, Emerald really brings the viewers. You are at this point. You this is really your main output as a content producer on the it. internet. Look, look, look! Until I the 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 awards start rolling in, I will take it. <laughs> Fair. But yeah, questions. Oh boy, I actually have like one, two, three, four, five on uh, uh, Twitter. What's going on here? Okay, let's start with a quick one. I said this before and it backfired horribly, but hopefully this is really a quick one. Oh god, I just removed all the questions. Um, from Irish John, does Emerald like Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi. See, this was Coke's an easy one. Coke. Coke is an inferior drink, and I hate it. Every time I drink Coke, it gives me a stomach cramp. Pepsi is great. Thank you. Next question. Uh, but but maybe maybe to answer the question from our end as well, Fritz Cola, only available in Germany as far as I know. Take that. As much caffeine as you can put into a soda without it counting as an energy drink. I, 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 I want Fritz Cola. Africola is also pretty good. I, I, can get Africola, I can get Africola at the import store where I live. <laughs> Not Fritz Cola, though. But yeah, I... Next yeah. question. Uh, uh, next question on Discord. Um, Kamazar Cuddles asks, if you could live at any time in human history, what time period would you pick? If you could live in any time period. Right? Da, 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 da. Yeah. If you could live in if any... History. Any uh, time period in human history, what time period would you pick? I believe we had this before, and I have no clue what I answered back then, so it's basically like a completely new question. It probably was two years, two or three years since we got it the last time. Well, probably. What if this person only comes by every, like, once a year to ask the same question in a <laughs> random podcast? And we, fight, and we fall for it every single time and give different answers every single time. At least I probably do. You, you, I could picture that you actually give consistency the same answer without re uh, remembering it. 50s. Okay, I'm, I'm, no. I'm going to guess. I'm going to... No? Are you people going to guess what I would pick? 
Oh, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah. How to alter the question? We answer for each other in which time period we would send each other. Is a punishment or what we think they would like? <laughs> the letter. Oh. Unless they're okay. unless they're Madokis, then it could be both at once. And then you actually tell us where you would go. Okay, fine. But that, yeah, that, I, 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 I I'm with I'm with Emerald. I would send you to the. I'm I'm not good with putting down the decade, but yeah, somewhere in the earlier 20th century where Beatles were going on and this bright fashion and whatnot, I'm not sure if this is... So 50, the 60s. 50s, 60s. Yeah, yeah, 60s. Oh, I don't want to be around during the Vietnam War. Maybe in Great Britain, hey, since, there, since where the Beatles are. Also, lack of women's rights. <laughs> and lack, yeah. No, just the... So hmm. when do you want to be then? That's the thing. I've talked about time travel a lot to people. If I just had the power to time travel, like, and I can go back home, I would just go time travel to a time where groceries cost a shit little amount of money and just buy a bunch of groceries and bring them back to the present. And then I would just, I would hoard up on food that I know is discontinued. See, this here is, is my perfect time traveling story. Living, this is, this is not living in a time. Isn't it? Isn't it? I know, but think about this. If you could go back in time and you have the amount of money you do now, which is a shit ton of money back in those days, and you could just go back in time and get, like, as many boxes of ecto-cooler that you want, and then come back to the present, you can eat like kings. Like, I, okay, not just ecto-cooler, but... You just, no, just uh, into my veins! <laughs> into my veins! No, I think, like, the thing I would... The time period I would go to if it wasn't the 60s. Like, there's fun parts about the 60s. The thing is, I just wouldn't want to live my life there. I would go there for a day or, like... But, like, I guess... Your time travel adventure. Honestly, like, maybe it, the 1980s. Hmm. I, I would love to have more of a of a cognitive memory during that span. If I'm as old as I am now, I could see the entire big shift into the new millennia if I started in the 80s and with the big burgeoning of what we now have as modern technology and internet, and that would be really interesting to see. You people think I'm so predictable that I just want to go see the Beatles. Exactly. 80s was my second guess. Because uh -huh, yeah, Scooby, sure. Because Parasite was Scooby my second started. guess. Uh, Scooby Doo started in 1969. That would be the 70s. 69. So nice. But nice. no, uh, let me. Fine, let me think of one for you people. Yay! I mean, I'll start do, with Emerald. Oh, Emerald. Okay. When, when do we? Where would you? Where would? Where would you want me? I would in, uh, say. I would say medieval bard. He has a hair no, for it. I don't want him to die of of disease or kill everyone. He's healthy. No, he's. I, I, Kill everybody with my future germs, or everybody would kill me with their past germs. So no, no, no. he's healthy. He 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 gets uh, temporarily dispositioned with oh, his boy. health intact and everything, and uh, he knows about hygiene because the majority of the sicknesses in uh, the uh, dark ages were due to people uh, uh, shitting in the street, literally. Um, no, he, he he takes care of it and he lives his dream. And Ireland is also not as bad as Central Europe. So he lives in Ireland as a bard, traveling from town to town. It's it's like the film student of the middle mid age middle east middle better. This was my guess. Okay, keyframe your guess. I would send him probably to the late thirties, early forties, because uh, that has some of the best era of film. Sir, I would draft it. Uh, I don't want to go to war, sir. You're getting drafted. <laughs> well, no. I mean, you could always just say you have flat feet. But if you get into if you get into the film industry during that time, you could probably dodge the draft. Uh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I can see that. And you could be around during the the beginning and and uprising of Hitchcock sound films. So I would probably send you to the 30s and 40s when film was just starting to really be film. I never considered going to the 30s and 40s, but yeah, no, I could see that. Okay, what would have then? What would have been your answer before we uh, manipulated you into believing otherwise? You know, the funny thing is, is that I was actually, I was, I was with a friend of mine last night, and we were talking about like, you know, uh, we were randomly talking about the 18th century, uh, and like, you know, about dress and how, you know, like, that just like conservative, just like just kind of weird stuff like that. I'm kind of happy where I am, to be totally honest. Hmm. I mean, like, I'm, 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 
I feel like it's a very like not answer. If I was gonna like give you my my main answer, I wouldn't mind going back to the seventies, just because I feel like you know, the like most most of Europe and like you know like like even England was like fairly loose and fairly like like fairly like okay seventies. Uh, but like Ireland in the seventies was still very 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 Catholic. Uh, you know so. <laughs> You know the whole the whole shit of like you know kids like you know getting their fucking knuckles like cracked by uh, uh, by by rulers getting like beaten up in school by by the teachers didn't like really leave until the 1990s. Oh, you want to so, write with your left hand? Better learn to write. Actually, that's that's the other thing that I that, that, that I only figured out the other day is because when uh when in the evenings uh when the when tra when transmissions on the TV would end. Uh, they put up like this still image of a the, of a girl and a teddy bear. Like she was kind of like by a desk holding a pen, and the bear was like over here. But I only found out that the, that actually that girl was left-handed, and they mirrored the image to make it look like that she was right-handed. Because there's this old myth that left-handed people work for the devil, and Ireland was so holy Mary, mother of God, that they would not have a left-handed person on TV. So they intentionally switched it so that people be yeah. right in and completely. Like, See, dude, here... we, were, we were fucked until the 1990s. That's why I'm saying where I am, because I feel like if I went back any further, I'd be like, oh, no, man, fuck this. I'm going See, to here's the thing. I, I can't pick any time period besides the present for Max, because I don't think he would survive in anything that doesn't have the things he's either grown up with or has now. I feel like if I said, I, I, because like one thing in my mind was like, oh, maybe if I send him to like the late sixties during the free love thing, he can go and party and have all that fun. No, cause he would miss having a phone. Yes. And then, and then, and then I was like, maybe the eighties, like the, but like maybe like before he was born kind of eighties. So like hair and stuff. And it was like, no, because when he was, a child in the 80s, he didn't have the cognitive reasoning to be like, wait, I don't have these things that I have. Because when you get sent back in time, you'll still be an adult. So it's just like, I, your memories. I, I, I honestly can't think of anything but the present. Because I know that even if he's like, oh, I could go be a knight or something cool like D&D-ish, he would get really bored really fast. I could probably <laughs> die. Admiral, do you guess? Um... I mean, Middle Ages would, like, kind of suit you down to the ground, I think, as well. But, yeah, like, you, you'd miss all your, like, modern-day... They would think and, he's like, a heretic and burn him, like... Hey, no, no. <laughs> witch! Burn the witch! And you'd probably die. Like, either either in a fight or, like, by someone just randomly coming up and stabbing. It, uh, Katrina Hood's got the right idea. Let's just send him to the future. No, here's the thing about the future. There is none. I don't... Well, yeah, hey, the future oh. doesn't exist yet. So it's like no, no. It is, I, mean, I like, also there's no little, it's yet to be written. There's yeah. no oh. I mean, it's, okay. It's I'm not making change. a dec deprecating joke it's, about it's, you. It's climate change versus uh, uh, World War Three. So hey. Yeah, but also just the thing of I don't think it would really work for the future because Max is someone who needs to process things in his own time. And if he got thrown into the future where there's all this stuff that he doesn't know yet, he'll I think he'll have cult he'll have the worst culture shock. But yeah, where, yeah. Where, where did you send me Emerald? I do not. Um, I'd I'd, I'd go the middle age or hmm? Renaissance time maybe like sixty. Nice, nice, nice frou frou clothing. Nice frilly clothing, you know, a rebirth of art and culture, I, I, you know, what, thing Central Europe be nice. What am I going I to do be, with that? <laughs> nothing, I don't know. Nothing I could send you to would not be a punishment. So. <laughs> Yeah, but, but but yeah, it's it's uh, my answer would actually be uh, relatively close. Um, no, I maybe just nostalgia speaking, but I would maybe go. Uh, yeah, pe people. I, mean, I actually saw multiple people uh, saying '90s in the chat. I would go a little bit further because yeah, I do like certain aspects of the internet, uh, but I don't like its current state. So probably somewhere in the mid 2000s. So times where the internet was still fresh, still uh, not this... Uh, That's a very minor going back in time, I know, man. But, uh, but living in an eternal loop of the early 2000s, so not having to pass over into the 2010s at all. There wasn't that stipulation. But, but, but I mean, like, in the in the early 2000s, oh, there was not this media overload yet. We didn't have Netflix yet. You had cartoons from the... Uh, at least it was not an internet streaming service at this point in time. <laughs> I mean, in, in, in my college days, I, I torrented uh, individual anime shows because there were not so many. There, there, there was, you could still grasp what 
there was on media you could consume them and uh, enjoy them like stuff from the 90s and 80s was still in the back pocket and you didn't get overwhelmed by anything so yeah i'm, I'm Nowadays it's too much, so go, dial back the clock a little bit to a time where we already are on the brink of the new technology age, but still a little bit more chill about it. Okay. All right. We'll I suppose. That. Anyway, next question. Next question. We went on for that question oh, for yeah. really long. Okay, okay. Uh, I... Uh, okay, I, uh, another potentially short one, I don't know, from Shuggledy Buggle. Why did oh, you, Why did you kill my bird, Emerald? Emerald. Is this a D&D &D thing? Do, do, so, do, for do, context. Please, yeah, I just this wanted to be like, thing. Emerald, there's something you want to tell us, don't you? So, so I run a D&D &D game for Mr. Chuggledy Buggledy and for Irish John and a few other of my favorite people uh, called Blackfire. Uh... Rob runs a very like you know kind of you know cool module based like kind of game and he's a great DM. Kichi runs a game that's very full of memes and like you know very fun and lighthearted that's now kind of like starting to get a little bit serious. I run a game that is full on Dark Souls, Witcher, Game of Thrones, and I'm going to take you to the deepest depths of despair and watch you crawl out of it. Oh <laughs> I'm fun! Gonna, I'm gonna cut your hands off and give you lingering injuries and mentally scar you, and you're gonna have to live with it type of thing. Uh, so. Chuggle, my good friend, who I love dearly, uh, he decided that he was going to make the worst character. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's okay. Um, she'll be back in a bit, folks. Yes. Uh, he makes uh, a Kenku wizard. For those of you who don't play D and D, a Kenku is basically like a little tiny bird person that can't. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, they 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 basically repeat what they hear. Yes, yes, yes. Kenku can't form their own thoughts. They uh, they can only mimic uh, things that they've heard from other people. So Juggle played uh, a Kenku wizard uh, named Roxanne, who everybody immediately loved. You know, like, like the hugging the bird, and we have to keep the bird safe. And meanwhile, like she was like firing, you know, like bolts of acid out of her hand and blowing up like gnolls and hyena people and all that kind of thing. So episode three, no. It was either episode three or episode four. It was early days. So that rolls around. So what had happened was is that they found out that one of the guys who was giving them a quest was a dirty, dirty traitor and working for the main villains of the, the current story arc. So they get on a boat, or the, the, they sail for a little bit, then the boat gets ambushed, they all get knocked off, and they all think that they're dead for like five minutes. Uh, I leave them in suspense, and then I do like a little dream sequency type thing with everybody who's there. Uh, they all wake up, they all go to a plateau, and they find that there's a bunch of, like, uh, mercenaries, gnolls, necromancer, who are all hanging out there, and they're resurrecting a, a minotaur. So this big minotaur skeleton is there, and they're all up on top of the ledge, and they're all fighting it, and Ninja's character moves to go and help somebody else because they had passed out, and the minotaur had a direct line of sight towards Roxanne. So this big lumbering thing just comes over, <laughs> Now, wizards don't have a lot of health. Uh, she had already, like, taken a bit of damage, and she was on, like, six out of nine hit points. Uh, and Solar Flare is in that game as well, and he plays, like, the, this, the, the, a big Warforged dude with a big shield. So he tried to block it. Almost worked. The second roll hit the, uh, the exact um, armor that, uh, that Roxanne had, uh, and I killed her. I'm still very, very, very sorry that I did because I don't like killing people's characters. Like, it's I I enjoy torturing them because then I want to see them become better and grow out of it. But I don't like just killing them because I think it's then like it ends all like the story arcs and stuff that they had planned. And then I'm like, oh fuck, now I got to rethink a couple of things. I mean, it made everybody else's characters stronger. A little bit. It definitely like bound them together because now they were like, "All right, we're gonna hunt down the motherfuckers who killed the bird, and we're gonna kill them." Uh, so in that regard, it worked out well for the story. Uh, I killed your bird because uh, the the dice decided that your bird had to die. Chuckle. I'm so sorry. Well, uh, now we know. Away and have now we know. I guess back to Discord. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Magical dude uh, sent us a "Would you rather" that uh, I actually think is a pretty okay "Would you oh. rather." Oh boy! Okay. Fire away. Magical dude says, "I just finished BoJack Horseman, and I have a BoJack-themed Would you rather." Would you rather work on a film with BoJack and Mr. Peanut Butter, or go on a Todd shenanigan? Ooh, that's 
Hmm. Ever, see, that's actually watched, ever, see, that's actually a good one, though. Ha- have you watched Bojack Horseman? I stopped halfway through season one, not because I didn't like it, but because I got distracted. Hmm. So you literally can't so, answer. But do you do you know? But do you know what a Todd shenanigan is? I'm assuming it involves a lot of groupy sex and drugs. Uh, no. And- no. No. The absolute opposite. Todd is Todd is a cinnamon. Todd, Todd is wholesome. He Todd, Todd is a is an adorable little cinnamon bun. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't do drugs and he's asexual. So yeah, if there's one person who's not would do that it's in this entire show it's taught but i but i but i but, but, but i feel like the caveat to that is that like uh the the film with uh, with mr peanut butter and uh and bojack is like a really controlling bad environment uh so it's a film that won't get done or will get turned into a what was it with the quentin tarantella taran tarantula the the snack box <laughs> the monthly snack box or whatever yeah, um no, but yeah so... yeah no like, I'm sorry, go on. But Key, what would be your answer? Todd Shenanigans or Bojack and Peanut Butter movie? I have the feeling you would probably better fit into the Todd Shenanigans. Please do tell why you think that. Because you love Todd, you, you enjoy episodes about him and with him and when he goes on his shenanigans, while uh, 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 Bojack and Mr. Peanut Butter are in their own way completely broken people. So Todd would probably be more fun to be around for you. Yeah, but is it an enriching? Is it an enriching, ex- enriching experience? Of course, it's Todd shenanigans. It, it's true that is a Todd shenanigan, but like, I could get the chance to be a dick to Mr. Peanut Butter, and that's also a great feeling. Wow! Whoa! Look, the last, last few two seasons, seasons made yes. Me... But 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 he he came around in the last season. Okay, okay, what era of Mr. Peanut Butter are we talking then? Because I'm just thinking, like, I mean, I'm, I'm to give it to... relationships, to, but... Well, no, to give it to, to give it to Emerald, since he's only seen season one, I'm going by season one standards of the characters, not the last season. Oh, oh, like, 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 no, 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 because I, I just have info from season one, so, like, I can only go by that, but if you two have seen all of it, then, yeah. like, you have the info. That makes more sense. Stop biting your nails. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. As someone who bites my own nails, I could tell you to not bite them. Yeah. Uh, don't be me. It, it, no, it's uh, a pack. Don't bite your nails. Well, I mean, like, if we're going by how much I've watched, which is the whole thing, yeah. honestly, a Mr. Peanut Butter Bojack movie doesn't sound too bad, given the states of their characters by the end of it. So, but Todd also... See, the only thing is that Todd works with children, and I don't want to be around children. I imagine his shenanigans would involve children Not at this all point. all of him. I mean, we don't have to go by the end. I mean, at the end of the show, they have reached their own uh, a new point in life, so we can also probably argue from what is a regular Todd shenanigan, and a regular Todd shenanigan is building a dildo robot which becomes the CEO of a company. Spoilers. That's actually kind of incredible. And I'm going to go happened. watch the whole thing. <laughs> Happens around season four or five, I believe. Oh, dang. Five. How, how much depression do I have to go through to get to season four? <laughs> uh, 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 it, it highly uh, depends. With the dildo robot so goes it, pretty far. It highly, depends, it highly depends on who you identify with in the show. That's what we figured out. Depending right, okay. on who you identify with, you can either enjoy this show in a, in a casual way or... The points of depression come at different points. I identified a lot with Bojack, especially in the beginning, and season one and two both hit with a stomach punch to Bojack as a character. Uh, Wait, which one is the season that ends in the... uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, with astrology? Um, Oh, with the planetarium? Yeah, with the planetarium. Is it two or three? Which one ends there? Two... Okay, then yeah, for season one and two. Two or three, leave, yeah. it's one of those. But yeah, th- those are the seasons that leave you with a gutch punt, especially if you identify with Bojack. But yeah, other people uh, I have been told identify with uh, Princess Caroline, <laughs> for example. Mm-hmm. And so but they, no, they, uh, they, they, the gut punches come later. Oh boy. Yeah, no, uh, I'm just going to say the Bojack thing. I think I binged watch most of what was, what was out of Bojack at that point at Max's place, like way back in 2017. And he came home from work and I'm in the dark watching on his computer. I think right after the planetarium episode. Mm. And I think you came in and you just see me and I'm like, Oh, and I look up and oh. I was like, why? 
<laughs> you I, could just hear you, I could just hear you go, oh no, that one. <laughs> There is only darkness beyond this point. Yeah, but, exactly. But, yeah. but no, I guess I, I guess I'll. You know what? I, 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 am going to go against the grain. I think I'll do the BoJack uh, peanut butter movie. Huh? But because that would be my answer to torture and are usually too wholesome and too wacky for me. I cannot stand this, and being around miserable old people is what I like to do because I feel at home. Uh, no offense to the young, not miserable people I'm currently in a call with, which I call my friends. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, you're assuming I'm not miserable? Uh, I mean, I'm a happy motherfucker, man. I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I would say he's the Todd of this group right now. Oh, he is, so. isn't he? And you are the Princess Caroline. He even the has the Jake. puffy hair. He just needs, like, the yellow beanie and the... He's kind of wearing red right now, and all I need to do is go, hooray! This this is burgundy, thank you very much. Hooray! Uh, okay, so to, to, <laughs> a, to anybody who is about to call the suicide, hot, suicide hotline on our behalf, we are all fine and funny, and we are a, a happy, it's and, 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 and we, we, we are okay. Oh, we are okay, people. Um, but yeah. How is that therapy? Hmm? But yeah, but yeah, I guess those so, are the answers. Uh, d d d d nobody, yeah, and we're getting close, and I know a lot of people asked a lot of questions on Discord and Twitter, but I think we can only do, like, one more question Twitter, one more question Discord, and then do... Oh boy, now I have to pick hard. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's because we're we're almost at 11 your time, and it's a Sunday. It's true. There is that. Vibe check on Max. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! We're not going back to the meme topic, Emerald. No, 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 no. Just, just, just Odie put in the chat a vibe check on Max. Vibe check on everyone. <laughs> it's like they did a. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So I, I assume you. Mm, now I have to pick one on. Wait, it's. Oh, this actually was a, a, a Discord one, right? So I have to pick now the. Yes. Hmm. I mean, uh, Jay York, uh, York. Uh, God, I, every single week. Uh, we, we, we. It's, it, it's a good question. Maybe bring it back at some point. But we, we had you often on recently. Uh. Uh. uh, uh I mean, I, may, maybe we can do one and a half because Kitchi's question is pretty straightforward. When are you planning to come back to the to America? Uh, me in two weeks. Uh, uh Kiefer lives there. Emerald. Um, whenever, I don't know, the, the, nothing, nothing set in stone yet. Either whenever work comes up and we're like, okay, we need to go to Or LA someone kidnaps him. Or someone kidnaps me. Or no Friendocon. Things, things will happen. Or, friend, I don't know. Yeah. or Friendocon with the recording of Griffin the Griffin live action reading in uh, YouTube space. Okay. One day. Yeah. Which, which, one day will happen. So, which leaves me with uh, 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 one question by Enigma because we, we he, he hasn't got a lot of screen time recently, has he? Even so, he's no. Our... He got he had a couple of questions last oh, week. Oh, really? Okay, sorry about this, but he he sent one on Twitter, and I'm like, hey, I get a Twitter question. Which works because he asked a fuck Mary kill question, and I'm not get to giving that to him. It's, oh. That's Wolfhead's hey, 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 question. Hey. Oh boy, but yeah. Um, from Enigma Prince, if you were trapped in a room with three people for 72 hours with enough food and entertainment to not completely bore you throughout that time, who would you not want to oh, be Oh, this in was the a question he had last week. Why? Okay. You can only have intolerable uh, or annoying people in this room. Or you can only have... Wait. Throughout the, who would you not want to be with in that room? With you that's a why. big list. That is, <laughs> this is a big list. That's a big look. That's a very tiny list of people I would want in that room, and that's a very big list of people I don't. Because <laughs> I, I'm a, I love people. Don't mean I like them. Uh, I, I get annoyed by people very fast. There's a small list of people that I can be around for extended periods of time that I don't eventually want to cut their heads off. I'll just um, leave. I'll just leave. I'll just fuck off. <laughs> well, he, I would walk he, out into the nuclear wasteland. He, that's in. That, that's uh, whatever's outside that bunker. He, but, but, but yeah, I guess, I guess Emerald taught. Uh, Emerald got your a uh, wink, uh, and he left. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> I didn't wink. Too I'm bad. I'm not, not, not you wink. You're you're not like like he got no, the no the, the current company I have in this call are people I could stand. Oh, believe it or not, with one of you. But yeah. Um, <laughs> But no, people I don't want, I guess, like... I mean, if you don't want to name you know names, I know maybe you can The people generalize. I wouldn't want in there, 
I see. The thing is, I'm thinking of like types of people mm-hmm. more than yeah, specific. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Because the feel- type of people I would not want are people that are people that would insert the politics into the group that is in. Because I know people like that, not specific people, but I know that type in that mm-hmm. moments of desperation, even though you would have all the food and supplies and stuff, they would try to find a way to take the advantage to take the leadership role, to take an excess more than what should be their fair share under the guise that they are the only ones that can truly help. I don't want people like that in there because uh, I can read bullshit and I don't want to be the one who has to fight that bullshit. I'm already trying to escape the apocalypse. I don't need to deal with more drama. Okay. You're only in there three days, though. Remember that. Still, I don't three care. Days. If a it, lock, it can happen in three days. Keep, keep, keep in mind, you are locked in this room. There is no going yeah. to work, going to the supermarket. You are in yeah, a room, there. singular. Uh, let's see. The other two would probably be like... So, so nobody, no, not nobody who tries to take over uh, forceful leadership. Yeah, no, no, no megalomaniacs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, no one who doesn't believe in bathing. Ooh. Well, there are this... plenty of people like that. Hey, hey, Enigma, <laughs> hey. Enigma, is there a bathroom, including a shower in this uh, locked room environment? Can I thing? drown them in the shower? <laughs> it's hard to drown somebody in a shower. Bathtub? Yeah. Shower? Mm, take a while. Um, let's uh... see. And then agonizing, I guess, okay, this is this is going to be the most shallow. Oh, my. People who have a certain frequency of voice that I can't stand. If I'm going to be stuck with you for three days, I better not hear you talking like this. I could do an impression of that voice because it's something that I absolutely despise. If you sound like a fake-ass bitch, you're going to be a dead-ass bitch. And I don't agree with you. It's not even Valley Girl. It's artificial. I don't like artificial sounding people unless it's for a narrative purpose in a piece of fiction. But there are plenty of people who just put on this kind of you know, welcome to your flight kind of thing. And oh, I just... No, mm. that, I, I have the feeling that your voice is about to get clipped. <laughs> I bet people where that's their default voice. I know. That's oh, the... okay, clipped. I thought someone was going to say something that would make me scream and the audio would clip. No, no. you mean like some Twitch clipping it. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay, but no. Uh, Twitch can't... Wolfhead, <laughs> no, please. If you care about me, Wolfhead, you'll not do that. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but no, uh, that that's mine. What about you guys? Hmm. I, and this is going to sound really bad, uh, I love my family. You love my family? No, 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 no. Here's the thing. We, we all do really well when we're by ourselves. If we're all together for an extended period of time, we fucking hate each other. Oh. So I feel like three days, like, locked in a room with, like, nothing going on and you can't get away from it. And, like, yeah, there's food and there's entertainment and everything and whatever. But I feel like we just fucking kill each other. Like, you know, it's, and it, you know, like, there's, it's, it, it, it's not like a massively, you know, negative thing. Because, like, it, it's it's not like that we hate each other. You know, like, nothing, nothing at all like that. We're just a family of people who, like, really enjoy their own company. Uh... And when you've got like three, uh, like like a bunch of people who are all like really like kind of introverted by nature, and you put them all together in one room, and like we have to see each other every single day, it's like oh for fuck. It's a personal hell. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Genuinely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, I was thinking like, so when you pitched the question to me initially, it's like I'm going through my shit list. Who like who do I hate? Who like I would not be in a room with? Ah, oh, no, it's a little boring. But then when like you know, when you said like types of people, I'm thinking like yeah, like not like. There aren't any really like personality traits about people that like really piss me off. Like I hate like 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 people who are fake are like one thing that like really pisses me off. Like the 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 posturing mm-hmm. fucking like kid who never got over secondary school or high school or whatever and like doesn't hasn't moved into the real world yet. I hate that shit. That's 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 a definite thing where I'm like it's like I just want to kill you. Like there is there is there is no debate. Like you're just going to die. <laughs> but for the most part, like I can. Oh no! Yeah, it's coming. I am. <laughs> I am deaf. Uh, but uh, yeah, like there's there's not like too many personality traits in people that like annoy me. Um, I know I talk a lot, but like people who like don't get the hint of when you need to be quiet 
that's kind of another thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop me if I'm, if, if, by the way, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, the thing was, is that my first thing that went to my mind was Dusty Cat's awkward cast was in the sense of people who don't know when to stop talking. Because he has so many stories that, that he somehow had a tangent for every story. Yeah. And, oh. and even when there was a, a quest about something completely unrelated, he like, oh, this reminds me of. And I was first of all, how did this remind me you? And second, I was just trying to answer a question, please. Um, uh, <laughs> hi, hi, and I mean, I, I know I interrupt people uh, myself there or very often if I have a one liner or something. But I try to give the conversation ball back and be like, hey, sorry, I interrupted you. And I try to get their train of thought yeah. to the original yeah. play. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he, takes, he takes the conversation, puts it on his shoulders, and carries it uh, uh, through Grandpa the Grandpa can hold the conversation as long as he exactly. wants, youngster. <laughs> exactly. No, um, okay, what what people um, would I not like? Um, I know this is uh, sounding rich or uh, out of place coming from me, but people who, 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 have a, 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 who are very in your face and uh, with their obnoxious and cringy behavior i know that i am probably this for many people so no uh, clones of you I, you are a meat he, lord he, he, uh, here's, like, i'm an iil shit poster i'm a uh, but but yeah people who are just like especially when they have a a, a brand of humor uh, that is simply different and then they are very in your face about it all the time and it gets so exhausting and you're like the first time you're like ah, yeah okay the next time it's like oh please That's 20 I, times. I'm, I'm, yeah I, I will not be able to have 72 hours of fake laughter out of politeness please don't yeah. make it about your jokes they are not funny but i don't want to tell you because i'm locked in this room with you we have enough entertainment we don't need you and once again i can completely understand if i am this person for other people but I really don't... Really could... don't want to deal with it. Yeah, but here's, here's the sad thing. I could probably stand myself. <laughs> so I could probably be in a room with a bunch of clones of myself because we are all on the same wavelength with this annoying, cringy behavior. But yeah, somebody who is on a different wavelength, which doesn't, doesn't harmonize with mine. I... You need to have a slightly... Yeah. A slightly I, I, ink I, I... out... There's not enough ink in the printer clone of yourself and then yeah, have... Um... Exactly. I mean, I, I, slightly... I, I, through. <laughs> I, I, I can think of people that, 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 that are oh, dear, dear to me finished. where I'm still like, holy fuck, I couldn't survive. I, I, I really appreciate them as humans, but I'm like, yeah. Oh, Not if, for 72 if, hours. If, exactly, if I would be oh. locked in a room with you, my love for you as a person would backfire horribly. I don't, I, 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 I yeah. Um, uh, There's those, a film in here yeah. somewhere. Actually, uh, I was like, like this, this, uh, what's it? Cloverfield Lane, like the second Cloverfield movie, where like everybody's down okay. in that bar. That's yeah. This is that's that's just what this reminded me of because I was like, oh yeah, I can make a movie about that. Oh wait, no, it already exists. Somebody did, yeah. <laughs> and uh, already... Okay, so, uh, this was one type of what did how? Oh, he 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 specifically was. He like, wanted was, three, but you yeah. can just set you can could... then people who bring uncomfortable IRL stuff in there. I know this sounds very like, eh, safe space and whatnot, but, but as uh, somebody, and I'm probably a top candidate for this myself again, with uh, trying to people who, who try to throw in like politics or religion or whatnot. I'm kind of prone to this myself, but I, I usually try to keep it either in an echo chamber with people where it's like just, yeah, maybe you just can you don't offend anybody with it or don't get into a serious grindy discussion about it. But if you get into it with somebody like into a grindy discussion, for th- this will not go away. For if, 72 if hours. Exactly, it, it will start at some point. And even if you are, if, even if you manage to get off this topic at some point, it will come back because those kind of discussions never ever end satisfying because people are far too stubborn and don't, are open-minded enough to to go one way to to move from their position and or very rarely so uh, this kind of people in there uh, would unless they are all again on the same wavelength and it could it, i mean if you have a a bunch of either a room full of pro trumpers or a room full of uh, never trumpers they will both have a great time but if you have one in the wrong room oh this, this will 
Mm, just as, 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 as or at example. least if you're going to have someone who has a different opinion, someone who's not like, I will fight you till the ends of the earth about it. Like someone you could have a civil debate with that knows when it should stop. Mm, That's a good active. person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and they should have but, Obviously, they should have a good taste in entertainment because it, nothing would be worse than being locked in a room and being like, I w- I, that's great, guy. Let's marathon uh, uh, Titans on Netflix. And everybody else is like, no, we have taste. Um, <laughs> then again, Let's marathon Riverdale. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And then somebody Branch, else. Hell yeah. Yeah, but somebody else is then like, oh, but I would rather... Marathon, what, what's the total not Riverdale? What's the absolute opposite of Riverdale? Totally, Something good? Totally spies, oh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you want to get, get sat for 72 hours? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there enough totally spies for 72 hours? No. Um, yeah. Okay, so one more question from from uh, the chat. I, I I like two of them, but I will only pick one. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Denim asks, what is your monster Sona? It can be based off a classic horror trope or something original. So if you were a monster, what would you be? Before we answer this, just of curiosity, which was your uh, runner-up? The dreams question from Lucio is still trash, but you know what? That name... I do like I do like questions about dreams. Those are fun questions. But you know what? What icked it a little bit forward was uh, Denim's name was not that. So <laughs> sorry. Praise be unto our Lord and Savior, Lucy. But no. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, Monster Sona. I think. See. It's interesting. I really do like cryptids and stuff. I feel like my monster would probably be based off something with the sea, because I like water. So I'd probably be a siren. I, I think, like, sirens are really interesting creatures in, you know, they put you in a, they can lull you in a false sense of security before fucking killing you. <laughs> so I think that would be a good one. I know that there's another type of water humanoid based creature that you can that has the ability to go on to land for certain periods of time but lord knows i can't remember what the name of it is right now but <coughs> siren would probably be a good one but it would be a siren that's not just a normal fishtail mermaid i would want it to be like mixed with like i don't know something that's mixed with like an angler fish i like i like the idea of having like the little light come out of my head <laughs> And like the millions of rows of teeth. Hmm. See that? They're pretty sweet. Hmm. Okay. Well, I wasn't anyway, Are I'm you making... picking from Monster Pro? I don't know. I'm just looking for inspiration. <laughs> I mean, if it if we're going to go by monster prom characters, I'd just be a ghost girl. That's simple, sweet, and I like ghosts. You you are just saying this because you like specifically this ghost, and uh, Polly is her name, right? Because you spit, Polly is her name. because you have the heart for Polly, and your original creation is a ghost. But would you really, would your Sona really be a mo- a, a, a ghost? Do I get the if it's a ghost that has the power of possession? Hell yeah! Ah, now we are talking. So sea monster or ghost, uh, Emerald? What? about you once again this is only for inspiration purposes there is no this is not meant to do to do anything but i have no fantasy so i need something to do as input i like uh i mean um i'm just kind of flicking through my head for like irish mythical stuff that i think is pretty there's uh there's there's uh uh, have that's that's mildly racist but okay uh (laughs) what fucking it's like another type of like water creature that like uh i thought you were talking about called a kelpie which is basically yeah, yeah. I was thinking of kelpies they're, too. They're, so, so they're horses, but uh, and they uh, the, the 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 old story is that they would uh, they would wander the uh, the land and they would find uh, lost travelers uh, and they would you know have a saddle on their back and the 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 lost traveler would obviously get on the saddle and then they realized that as soon as they sat on the saddle they were stuck to it with like with like uh, uh, oh yeah just... I have seen Ducktail reboot as well yeah 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 wait what. They were the, actually... the mini golf episode. Aren't the aren't the horses kelpie, kelpies? The mini golf episode in what? I didn't hear the first. D- Ducktales, the reboot. I haven't seen that one yet. Oh, you need to. I've they... seen the first two episodes. <laughs> I, I make movies. Do you think I have time to watch things anymore? <laughs> 
But wait, wait. Was the first time that was the first two episodes you watched when we all watched it in the at the giant hotel party at BronyCon 2017? I mean, we watched what it last night. This was literally when it aired, so this makes I sense know. that he saw it there. Look, I love. I it. know. I'm just saying. At least we. At least you, me, and Brett went to the hotel room to watch it again because we couldn't hear over everyone. Mm, I did not yeah, actually go and said like like watch it in the hotel room. I watched it all there. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor, oh, no, poor there. child. So, but yeah, you want to be a kelpie? Well, no. Like I'm, I'm going through my head because like, like there's 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 some that are cool. Like the first one I thought of as well was like uh, there's there's like an Irish version of the headless horseman called the Dullahan, which is literally just. He carries around his head under his uh, his arm, and he has a whip that's made out of human spines. Hmm. Uh, and he just hunts down people who are supposed to die and just kills them for no other reason other than he's just cool. I just that, that's 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 just a cool idea. The Uncle V is a cool monster, just like to, just because I don't know. I'm drawn to things that look mo like pretty fucked up, and I don't know why. It it, it should it, it it probably should worry me more than it actually does. But the Uncle V is like this uh, this thing where. It's a horse that has like uh, a human's torso and like like upper body on its back, uh, and like its arms are like like longer and kind of clawed, and, it, and like it, it brings famine and death, but it can't cross running water. Uh, and for no other reason other than I just think that those two monsters are just cool. Uh, that's why I would probably go as either of them. I found an alternative source of inspiration. Is this Monster Mizume? Of course it's Monster Mizume. Anime. <laughs> okay. But yeah, <sighs> uh, 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 the, the problem with me spending all the time searching for inspirations meant that I didn't think about my answer. I imagine, honestly for you, I imagine that you would fit some kind of monster that does shape-shifting. Yes, I guess. I mean, uh, um, also, question obviously also goes out to the people in the chat and uh, watching on YouTube in the comments. Uh, what's, what is your monster sona and why? Um, yeah, mine, mine. Um, I mean, I, I, I could... Oh, uh, oh Incubus. <laughs> it's an idea. It is, it's an idea. It's sure an idea. But I, I have grown up a little bit. A few years ago, I definitely would have gone like... Now it's just a possibility. <laughs> exactly. Now it's just a possibility. Um, but hmm. So yeah, but what no, is my yeah. either I actually might go for something furry uh, in the sense of uh, no, no, not a werewolf, by the way, but more like like. Where? What's the name of the fucking trash anime with the with the badger uh, girl? Killing no, but, bites. Yeah. Be a killing bites girl. <laughs> yeah, but um, no more 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 down like some anthropomorphic beast thing. I specifically say not werewolf because it usually comes with this very strict connotation of uh, uh, the curse and the moon and the, the transition of biting somebody else and then the other person also gets it. Yada yada yada. Um, so, but but you know, going for some creature that it can be athletic and uh, uh, yeah, uh, um, be a little bit more on the wild side of things. I could either imagine that, or to go completely traditionalist, I would uh, uh, maybe something like a vampire. I mean, vampires <laughs> actually they 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 come in, uh, with immortality, which is a nice thing. Night active, I can deal with night uh, being active at night, and there are enough uh, versions of uh, vampires. No, I'm not talking about Twilight, where they still can manage without having to hunt and murder humans. Like if you think ma vampire the masquerade, they they just can get around and just dip a little bit into the humans to to drink enough blood to survive, but they don't have to kill or transform everybody or turn them into. I just ghouls. imagine you as a Marceline kind of vampire yeah. and just drink. Yeah, yeah. It. Or yeah, or something like this, like 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 yeah, being immortal, being well sensitive to sunlight. I'm I'm half ginger. I, I You're already, already has sensitive to sunlight. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So nothing really would change except for the fact that. Uh, you're uh, the only person outside of myself who's known to get a sunburn on their scalp, so... That's horrifying. I'm so sorry. It's happened. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm literally he had turning to my dad. Hat the last time he visited yep. here. <laughs> I literally turned into my dad. But yeah, that was my answer, I guess. Okay, and well, I think good. it's time for our final thing, which is... The Q&A. The fuck, Mary Kill. Oh, wait, wait we're already in the Q&A. Let's get it. Okay, 
from Lucio with his garbage. God damn it, I couldn't avoid anything. Wait, did, <laughs> did he change it? Did he change his no. name? Wolf had changed his to Lucio with his garbage. Exactly, dudes. exactly. Because before it was key zipping cup, uh, cup swan song. And okay. before that, what did he have before? He had another one before that where I was. I, like... I have. Wolfhead, Odie, do you two people <laughs> private message each other during the, during the podcast to try to <laughs> conspire against me? They say yes. I don't know where either of you live, but I am more than willing to find it. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay, anyway, so Lucio with his great tunes uh, said, Hashtag Ask Awkward. We are visiting the late 80s, early 90s horror slasher spectrum for this one. Didn't he have, did we Ask have those in October every week already? <laughs> yeah, but now it's February. It's true. So shut oh, up. It's like Halloween in February. I know what you're trying to reference, but it was January. I know. <laughs> There's my about the time that'll yeah. that'll work. But uh, so, fuck Mary Kill, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and Michael Myers. All of you are gonna die either way, so try not to think too hard. You're asking Fair. too for us not to think too hard. Um, okay. So, uh, Emerald, you're our movie guy. I would. I feel like all Jason needs is a little bit of love. So, like, I would, uh, uh, I'd probably marry uh, uh, Jason Voorhees. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like, I mean, you know, like, it'd be, it'd be a quiet marriage. You know, he doesn't say much. Yeah, I'd probably die, but, you know, at least I tried. Uh, you can't kill Freddy Krueger. Well, uh, like, or, uh, to, well, you can't kill any of them, really. But, like, to me, Freddy Krueger seems like the hardest one to kill. So I'd just say fuck it and, like, fuck fr uh, Freddy Krueger. Uh, and then I'd kill Michael Myers because, in my opinion, Michael Myers is, is the easiest one to kill. Yeah, he'd keep probably coming back and, like, you know, like, trying to kill me anyway. But I'd at least probably be able to, like, take him down a couple of times before I was eventually like, all right, screw it. Just just, just kill me. Just here. Just, yeah, I'll walk onto your knife. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Do it. Oh, so, look, yeah. I've been impaled. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, yeah, marry Jason, uh, fuck Freddy Krueger, and kill Michael Myers. Okay. And then I would all three times. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, let's see. They're all male. Hooray for me. Yeah. Um, what? I always have to pick a I gay know, option I, 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 by one I know, of I know. some of these. So these are so, the nice types. So yeah, for next October, I demand a female monster or slasher version. But yeah, for I now... Know, we... A lot of female monsters, like monster movie people. Could be tricky. I, I no, would probably um, have a hard time picking. <laughs> trash. Uh, anyways, yes. um, I would probably marry Freddy Krueger because then I could go into people's dreams, and that sounds like a lot of fun. Probably the guess, gold digger answer of all those three. You do know. Is it really a gold digger answer? A, I'm not gaining any money. I'm just but, being able to go inside people's heads. But you get. You do not want to see the contents of my head. Trust me. <laughs> But but it's like you get the most out of it. That's true. Also, but yeah, but it's also a contingency plan because I don't want to fuck the thing that has knives for hands. True, true is a good way of thinking. Yes. For all I know, another one of those knives is his dick. So. <laughs> it's specifically his hands, but okay, you 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 wait you so you, you don't marry, know so you marry you Freddy. You don't know. You marry Freddy. I then I think. At least with, see, the thing is, you know that Jason has a fucked up face under his mask, and his mask is very easy to take off. At least Michael's is, like, one that's completely over his head. So I guess I'll fuck Michael, because that's the least opportunity that I have to see what's under that. Just put a bag over it. That's why he has the mask. It's automatically a bag. <laughs> Also, Jason. also, Jason probably smells like the like the fucking lake that they keep killing him in. I don't want to. I don't want to fornicate with someone that smells like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you kill. And Jason. then I'll kill. And then I'll kill Jason because technically he's already dead. Because the first the first movie, Jason was actually his mother. 
Okay, so how to be the contrarian to this one? Because here's okay. the problem. I, I constantly have to re remind myself who is who and what are their dis distinct features because that's the thing about slasher creatures. I mean, Freddy is at least a little bit different because he has a dream power, but Jason and Michael, they are very similar in that regard. They run around with a version of a knife and a mask on, and they kill people. Okay, one of them more in a swampy area, depending on where you, which movie are around a lake, and the other one is more in the city. Um, uh, but yeah, they, they, they are both like pokey pokey guys, unstoppable pokey pokey guys with math, so they're literally hard to tell apart. <clears throat> Maybe I should kill one of them simply to make it easier to tell them apart. Um, I... I mean, I don't want to go completely contrarian and uh, kill Freddy just because none of you did. Uh, so I, I but but I, I I won't because I really wanna um, sleep with Freddy simply for the fact that he can make dreams come true. There. Uh, uh, <sighs> Man knows. Man uh, knows. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we, 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 we can put a extra strong condom over each of his claws so that they don't poke. But, but can't uh, you, do, you, can, you? Okay, first of all, I just want to say you 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 went. St you are the least gay man I know. Surprisingly, and you I'm fabulous, went but straight. With the option That's of his of his hands needing condoms. He's a dream manipulator. He I mean, could just change his form into a female. Hey. Yeah, but why was that not the first thing to come to your mind? Your first thing was him knife no, fucking No, my, my first thing was that he makes dreams come true. That depends on what your definition well, of Why didn't you fuck is. him? Why is he fucking you? I why are you know. the bottom I, of this there's situation? There's sex happening. That's the important part. And he makes dreams come true. You need to think a little bit more intently about your slasher gay... Uh, sex fantasies, man. Uh, as long as fan art doesn't come out of it, why should I? Nothing ever happened. We are doing this for over a year, and nothing ever happens with our answers. Somebody, somebody, go oh, back yeah. and find the best answers of all our fuck Mary kills and do something horrible with them, please. Okay, more answers. Uh -huh. <laughs> to, uh -huh. to, Sorry, to, I'm to, just to... opening up paint to a side. Don't mind me. Yeah, please, My God. please go ahead. <laughs> please go ahead. But yeah, uh, then we have the art of the week already set in. Um, so I, I, so who do I kill? Who do I keep? Uh, once again, they are both pretty similar. Yeah, masked strong guy uh, who who goes all stabby stabby. However, to 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 stick with my role as <laughs> uh, picking people for the wrong reasons for marriage. Oh no! Okay, what is it? I, I, I killed Jason because he's a zombie, so and that much, much, whatever. Your choices However, are I marry Michael Myers because he already comes with a kitchen knife. <laughs> you broke your co host. This one is broken. You need a new see one. what I look like from the mirror, and it's not a comfortable position. No, it doesn't look like a comfortable position. Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> A year and a half. Actually, no. Fucking hell. I'm not happens. getting up, but I can hear you now. Oh God. Hey, ever. End the show, please. How does it feel to be back? This is so fucking awkward. A and Y and Key say hi to the people in the chat. The memes are seen on this live stream as they talk about random crap. It's time for awkward guests. It's the awkward. It's the awkward. Random guests and funny gags on the awkward guests. It's the awkward. Guests. It's the awkward. Artwork and analysis, whoa, whoa, whoa. which you do not want to miss on awkward.